No! All right, yep, uh, good morning. It is Uncle Lou here. Rumors are true. Uh, the rumors are true. It's me. How's everybody doing? Uh, Michigan State versus Mississippi State, an eight versus nine matchup. Uh, I did bet this game, obviously. I'm a complete degenerate. I took Michigan State. Let me tell you what bets I have here at the start of the stream. We'll get the scores put up on the screen here in just a second. Uh, what bets do I have out so far? Mississippi State uh, has finally scored. Five to two, your score now. Just under 18 minutes to go in the first half. First game above uh, the NCAA tournament. We had the play-in games <clears throat> over the last couple of days, but this is the first official game of March Madness here. Michigan State, Mississippi State. I do think that Mississippi State's a little bit better of a team than Michigan State, but, but, not betting against Tom Izzo. I'm taking Michigan State in this one. Uh, let's see. What did I bet in this one? Uh, I've got Michigan State minus one. So I need Michigan State to win by two points or more. Uh, and they're up five to two, 17 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Game just started. Mississippi State scores again, five to four. Now your score. <coughs> uh, how's everybody doing? I've got Creighton minus 12 later today. I've got NC State plus five. Uh, later today, I've got uh, Texas on the money line. I've got Iowa State, South Dakota State under 135 and a half. I've got Gonzaga on the money line, and I've got Samford, Sam Ford plus seven and a half. Um, how's everyone doing? I, I hope everyone's doing good. I really do. I hope everyone's doing all right. Still under construction here. Uh, still under construction here in the LooTube studio. Still, uh, still ironing some things out, too. Uh, let's get these scores put up on the screen, though, so y'all uh, can go ahead and be quiet about that. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's see if I can get this to work. Of course I can get it to work. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. There you go. I'm a real professional. I am a real professional. Michigan State, Mississippi State, the only game on right now, the first game of the day. Uh, Akron and Creighton coming up at 1.30. Long Beach State and Arizona coming up at 2. Arizona's a huge favorite in, uh, a huge favorite in that one. Still 5-4 to four is your score, Michigan State. Nope, Michigan State just hit a 3. Michigan State just hit a 3 to go up 8-4, to four, 16 and a half minutes to go in the first half. I've got Michigan State minus 1. Michigan State minus 1. Is it better with the light on or the light off? Let's go with the light off. Who gives a shit? No one really cares, to be honest with you. Uh, no one really cares. Uh, that much I know. That much I know. How's everybody doing? Austin Rogers, Floby, Joseph N. R., Corn Dog, Captain Trips, uh, Jared Shrekin Gast. Holy moly! Good morning, sir. Uh, Eric Wallace, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, what? LOL. Yeah, uh, but why? What? Uh, why also? Uh, some guy is here. Let the big dog eat. What's up, buddy? Hashtag pay Lou. We're going to make some money today. I'm up so far for the week. You guys know my gambling week starts Monday morning and runs through Sunday night. Uh, so, so far this week, I am up a whopping $83.80. And before you laugh, just keep in mind that that's better than being down $83.80. I came this close to being down really bad yesterday. Uh, I took a beating yesterday on the 7 o'clock games. I got pissed off uh, like I'm apt to do. And uh, basically, to put it in poker terms, I went all in on Colorado minus four. And boy, it looked like they weren't going to cover there at the end, but they pulled it out. They won. Lou got paid. And we're up $83.80 now uh, so far for the week. But we're looking to make some money here over the next four days now that we got March Madness underway. How's everybody doing? You guys betting on anything today? Let me know. Uh, I'm going to bet on a bunch of games today. I just told you the ones I have so far. 
Um, I'm on this one here. I've got Michigan State minus one. So need them to win by more than one point. Just need them to win by two or more. Uh, Lou is up $83, which is $83 more than Slimy Hot Boy has in his bank account, says some guy. Uh, I don't know that to be true, um, but it wouldn't surprise me if it were. Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Good to see you in here. Matt 3, watch only. Uh, key shot, Lou jumping on basketball bandwagon. Is there a basketball bandwagon? Uh, I didn't know there was a basketball bandwagon. I had no idea. I've been watching March Madness for 25 years, though. I'm not a basketball fan, uh, so I don't know. I, I, I don't really think I'm jumping on any type of bandwagon. I've been watching March Madness for 25 years. Uh, I'm not a basketball fan. I'm a gambling fan. And uh, the only reason I'm watching these games is because I'm gambling on them. I won't watch a basketball game unless I'm gambling on it. I'm not I'm not a basketball fan like that. At least Colorado has a sport they're good at. Uh, yeah. What do y'all think about that one today? Who do they? Don't they play Texas? Or is that Colorado State that plays uh, Texas? No, Colorado played yesterday. That's right. Colorado State plays Texas today. What are you doing? Don't you want to go find something else to do? Come on. Go find something to do out here. There you go. Knock yourself out. Uh, how's the helmets looking? Helmets looking okay? Helmets looking okay? I still got a lot to go. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. That's 37 helmets. I've got about 130. So I got about 100 more. I got about 100 more to... Uh, I got about 100 more to put up on the wall. Uh, that was the dog, actually, that was in here. That wasn't the cat. The cat's asleep. Uh, this is the cat's nap time every day. So uh, We sit in the den and eat lunch, and then the cat takes a nap. So cat taking a nap right now. Lou, I am a recruit, but I don't want Dion to come to my house. I want to go to his mansion. Yeah, right. Right. I'm sure you do. I am sure you do. The helmets are looking like the best damn college football show on YouTube is getting ready for the season, says some guy. Yeah, we're going to get them lit up and everything like they were before, but, you know, one step at a time. One step at a time. 37 helmets, you're getting close to putting all of them there. Now, I got 100 to go. That's 37. I got about 130 total helmets, so not 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 even really uh, not even really close. Not even really close. What happened to Lou's helmets? Nothing happened to them. 37 of them are right there. The other 100 are in a couple of boxes in the other room. Yeah. Leave a super chat. Tell me what helmet you want me to put up on the wall next, and I'll, I'll, I'll put them up. Leave a super chat. Let me know what helmet you want me to put on the wall, and I will put it up. Here. There you go. Uh, why don't you put the helmets up and down by conference? Yeah, I'm just putting them up on the wall. They're, they're not in any order. They're stuffed in boxes right now from when I moved, so I'm just taking them out one at a time and putting them up on the wall. Once I get them all up there, I'll rearrange them into some kind of order. They're not in any order at all right now. The only order they're in now is the order that I grabbed them out of the box in the other room. That's it. LOL, you got all kinds of animals, Lou. Just, just uh, one dog, one cat. One dog, one cat. <clears throat> That's it. The first year season is over. It's going to be great. Yeah, I love the year season is over video. They're probably my favorite videos to do. Michigan State up 10-4 to 4 now over Mississippi State, which is good news for Lou. I'm on Michigan State minus one. I said at the beginning of the stream, I do think Mississippi State is a little bit better of a team than Michigan State, but I can't bet against Tom Izzo in this spot, so I'm rolling with Michigan State minus one. Means I need to win them by uh, I need them to win by two or more. Mississippi State just scored, and now Michigan State has turned the ball over, and it's going to be a two point game now, ten to eight. So Mississippi State going on a little run here, trying to tie this thing up. The Pac-2 conference helmets are going to be thin. Yeah, there is no Pac-2. They're independents, basically, at the, right now. They're basically independents. Uh, I got to split, folks. Time for work. All right, Eric. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by, sir. Uh, we're going to get a your season is over. We're going to get a your season is over for the March Madness? Probably not. I'm, pro I'm probably going to stick to football on those. Um, I'm not really passionate enough about college basketball as a sport to do the whole trash talking, um, trash talking deal. I only watch college basketball if I'm betting on it. That's it. I, I can't watch college basketball just for the fun. I'm not enough of a fan. So in order for me to watch a college basketball game, I got to be betting on it. And I, I, I just I don't think that your season is over. College basketball video would be very good, uh, to be honest. 
How pissed off are you about 2025 conference schedule? Uh, I'm not pissed off about it at all, other than that it's still eight games. But, I mean, it makes sense to just reverse it and do a home-and-home. Home. <clears throat> I don't really understand why anybody's mad about it, other than staying with eight conference games. I don't like that. You betting on UGA in the NIT? I bet on UGA against Xavier in the first round and hit. Uh, I don't know. The line's not out on their next game yet, so... They don't play again until, I think, Saturday. I think they play again Saturday, and the line's not out yet, so I don't know. I don't, I'm not a Georgia fan when it comes to basketball. Again, I don't watch a Georgia basketball game unless I'm betting on it, and I don't bet on it unless I think there's an edge somewhere one way or the other. I bet against Georgia uh, this season more than I bet on them. <clears throat> I hit a big bet earlier this year um, in a Georgia game uh, betting on Florida. Uh, Carson, what's up, buddy? Can't stay, but wanted to say good morning. I appreciate you dropping by, buddy. Good to see you in here. Good to see you in here. I can't stay. Blah, blah, blah. It's March 31st, and FSU and Clemson are still in the ACC. Well, it's not March 31st, uh, but Clemson and Florida State are still in the ACC. That part is true. That part is true. Yeah, that part is true. Michigan State just hit another, uh, another shot here to extend their lead. Uh, they're now up 10, 18 to 8. Mississippi State went on a little run, got it within two there. But then Michigan State turned it on. Now they're up 10. Michigan State looking good, knocking down those threes, says G-Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my money's on Michigan State minus one. So I need Michigan State to win by more than one uh, to get Lou paid. Uh, yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Karen? Good to see you in here. South Carolina is, is embarrassing the SEC per usual. They play Oregon today. I think that's going to be a great game. I don't think I'm going to bet on that game because I, I can see that thing going either way. I can see Oregon winning. I can see South Carolina winning. Uh, South Carolina is a better road team than Oregon is. I know this is a neutral site game, but I'm kind of leaning towards South Carolina in that game, but I haven't bet it. Maybe I might bet it later, uh, but I haven't bet it yet. FSU and Clemson will most likely stay in the ACC until 2036. Uh, I don't know about that, but they'll be in there this season. And uh, now that the SEC has released their schedule for next year, to me, that's a signal that they're going to be in the ACC in 2025, too. Lou, single desperate women in Virginia still want to know how B.A. locked down the most handsome and eligible bachelor in Georgia. She scratched the winning lottery ticket, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. She struck gold, no doubt about it. Uh, don't let us down, says Captain Tripp. Yeah, hopefully South Carolina won't let us down. Kentucky plays today. They should win. Uh, South Carolina plays today. They should win. Mississippi State, I mean, y'all know I'm an SEC homer, but I just uh, I, I couldn't bet against Tom Izzo. I just couldn't bet against Tom Izzo. <coughs> you took, uh, your boy Jay says he picked Michigan State. I picked, yeah, I got Michigan State minus one. I need to get Lou paid. Michigan State minus one, pay Lou. Lou, someone who mows the grass with the person who washes Dabo's ball sack told me that Clemson won't have to pay a dime to get out of the ACC. Yeah, that's definitely fake news. If anybody, look, they can get out of the ACC tomorrow. All they got to do is write a check. That's it. It's that simple. The ACC has already told them. You're not being held hostage here. You're free to go. Pay the money and get out. The ACC already told them that. 15 seed Western Kentucky over 2 seed Marquette is my major upset pick. Could happen. Good. There's going to be some upsets. That, that We know that. That's the easy part. Saying there's going to be upsets is the easy part. Picking them is, the, of course, the hard part. But, yeah, that could be one. Luke, can you please explain the set redesign? Are you in a new space concerned because the set has been iconic? Yeah, I moved. I moved. So couldn't take the wall with me, unfortunately. Couldn't take the wall, other wall with me. So I had to take everything down from the other wall now putting it back up on this one. I'm just not done. I mean, I just started. I really, ju I just started putting the helmets up like two days ago. So we'll get it knocked out. If there's a helmet that's not on the wall and you want it on the wall, send a super chat and I'll put it up right now. I've got them all in the other room. Oh, the new house is great. I'm loving it over here. I'm loving it over here. It's great. It's great. I even have a garage again. So who knows? We might bring back some old school Uncle Lou garage videos. How long, how many of y'all have been around since the garage days? How many of y'all have been around since the garage days? We might bring some garage videos back. Lou, what's the biggest upset you picked? 
I didn't do a bracket. I don't do bracket. I don't care about the bracket as a whole. I just bet on individual games. That's it. I mean, if you want to know who I think is going to win the whole thing, it's UConn. Uh, but I don't, I don't fill out a bracket or anything like that. I, I get up every morning. I look at the games that are being played, and I make a bunch of bets on them. That, that's it. That's it. When are you going to do another Ohio State video already? Whenever there's a reason to. Uh, I remember you sweating your ass off in that garage. Yeah, sweating half the year and freezing the other half. I worked three years full-time in a garage in Augusta, Georgia with 100% humidity. It was either 130 degrees or 20 degrees in that garage. No in-between. I worked out there full-time for three years. I paid my dues. I'm not doing that shit again. I might go out there and make a, 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 a video. I've got a little setup out there with a couch and a bar top. Remember the black bar top table I used to have in the other room? I've got it out in the garage now. My old couch from my old place is out there. So I've got like a corner of the garage set up out there. But So who knows? Uh, I may bring back a garage video or two. Coffee talk coming back. Uh, you know what? Maybe. If I bring Coffee Talk back, it'll be on the second channel. It won't be on this one. Uh, I, I, this channel is... I, I keep this channel uh, all sports. At least I try to. But, you know, I do have that second channel where I do the morning show four mornings a week. If I were ever to do anything like Coffee Talk or the old tinfoil hat videos or whatever, it would be on the second channel. Napier gets fired if he loses to Tennessee. Napier's getting fired, buddy. <laughs> so, I mean... Whether he loses to Tennessee really doesn't have anything to do with it. He's only going to win three or four games this year, maybe five. It's going to be his third straight losing season. He's getting fired. If he doesn't, Florida's dumber than you are. <clears throat> 20 to 8 now, Michigan State up over Mississippi State, which is good for me. I bet Michigan State minus one. List of things that irritate me, part four. I think there's already a part four, but yeah, I, those types of videos. Yeah. Lou, will there be any bets on when Napier gets fired? I am taking November 3rd. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think he'll make it through the season, but I don't know about an exact date. Georgia, Florida, 2015 brought me here to the Uncle Lou channel. It even lowered my cholesterol. That's right. Watching Uncle Lou videos will make you smarter, and it'll lower your cholesterol, which will get you off of that Lipitor, which is killing you from the inside out. It's like a contest in the United States to see who can be on the most medicine. It's a sickness. Being sick is a sickness here. It's like people, people aren't even sick, and they want to be, so they can take more pills. It's weird. It's really weird. They, you know, you know, the, there's only two countries on the face of the planet that are allowed to advertise pills on TV. Uh, it makes no sense. I, mean, I, I don't understand either. How, what, what about those commercials that advertise some kind of pill and then they say, "Go see your doctor and ask him to give you blah 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 pill." That's not the way it works, lady. You're supposed to go to the doctor, tell him what's wrong, and then the doctor tells you what to take. These commercials tell you to go into your doctor's office and tell your doctor what medicine to give you. That is fucking insane. Please put the Bama helmet up, if not already, and say, this is my daddy going up. Yeah, I'm not going to say that, but I, uh, if you super chat and you want a helmet up, I will put it up. So you want the Bama helmet. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right, let's put the Bama helmet up. Thank you, watch only. Thank you, watch only. You should change your name to watch only and sometimes comment. 
watch only and sometimes comment. But thank you for the super chat, helping to support the show, the stream, and the channel. You want the Bama helmet up? We will put the Bama helmet up. As far as telling me what to say, you can, you can, you know, you can stick it with that. Ain't got no interest in that. All right, let's take this one down. Let's take this one down too. Greenbow, Alabama. All right, there you go, boss. There's your Bama helmet. There you go. 20 to 13. Now your score, Michigan State up over Mississippi State. A seven-point lead with eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. Michigan State was a one-point favorite. I did bet this game. I have Michigan State minus one. Uh, scattered, covered, and chump. What's up, buddy? Seems like it's been a while since I've seen you in here. He says, the ACC star witness will be Texas A&M and Jimbo Fisher. Grovetown is blown up. I just moved back. Uh, yeah, Grovetown is an absolute clusterfuck in terms of traffic, too. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Another all-time Lou video from the past was the 2015 Georgia Southern game. We should have lost that game. We should have lost that game, 100%. Now, we didn't. We won. Florida lost. <laughs> Florida lost to Georgia Southern, not Georgia, but Georgia should have lost. Yeah, Georgia played terrible. I remember that game. Terrible game for the dogs. 20 to 15 now your score. Mississippi State's on a 7 to nothing run. Michigan State fouled in the lane, and they'll be shooting free throws here. A five-point game with 7.55 to go in the first. Big East getting only three teams into the tournament is a tragedy, says Robert Ryan. Well, not everybody can be as good as the SEC and get eight or nine teams in. You know, UGA owned the SEC East during its final years of existence, says Floby. Dario T says, will you be covering any spring football games? Uh, I'll be streaming as many spring football games as they put on TV. I wish they'd put them all on. I complain about this every year. The number of spring games that they televise is ridiculous. Uh, they Last year, I think they only televised two. It's just insane. It's just crazy to me. Um, but if it's on, I, I'll stream it for sure. You lost to Bandy on homecoming. Yeah. Yep, sure did. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. <clears throat> I started watching Lou week one of 2023 season and raised my testosterone levels from 790 to 916. I'm 51. There you go, buddy. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Ball's looking good. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, thank you. Still, we just, just started working on it within the last couple of days. But, 
Yeah, so far so good. So far so good. Ten year anniversary coming up. Bluetooth ten year anniversary coming up in May. So just a couple of months away. Hard to believe I've been doing this dumb shit for ten years. But I have. Somehow I have. Unbelievable, I know. Bam, my hat should have should have number 18, not number 17. Well, it should have about nine, actually. Should have about nine. Half of those are fake and made up. Thank you, thank you, Lou. Wall looks better. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you hitting the super chat, man. Seriously, thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Can we do a local cookout to celebrate? Says Austin Rogers. Uh, I am going to have people over for a game this year. I am going to have people over for a uh, football game this year one Saturday. Open invitation, just whoever wants to come, just show up. I don't, I, you know, I don't give a shit. I have 100 people. I don't care. Uh, yeah, Georgetown used to be a basketball power. Yeah, Georgetown did used to be a basketball powerhouse. Not the case anymore. Not the case this year. So did Indiana. Yeah, Indiana was... Uh, Indiana's still okay. I mean, they're not great. They're not great. Make sure y'all hit the thumbs up if you hadn't already. This is the first game of the day. We got a bunch of games today. Games on now all the way up through midnight. I'm going to be streaming a lot today. Now, some of my streams are going to be over on Patreon. Um... I, uh, I don't, not sure if we'll do like maybe the afternoon games on Patreon or the primetime games on Patreon. But we'll do some YouTube, some Patreon today. Uh, if you're not on the Patreon page, first of all, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, all the cool kids are doing it. In fact, they've been doing it for quite some time. Uh, but the link to the Patreon page is in the description of the video. If you want to check it out, I'll post it in the comment section too. But, uh, we're going to be doing some of these March Madness streams here on YouTube and some over on Patreon. 20 to 15 is still the score. Michigan State up by five. They've got possession with 720 to go in the first half. Michigan State a one-point favorite in this game, and I did bet Michigan State minus one. Shot clock down to 10. Well, they better shoot it. Better shoot it, dummy. Down to two, down to one. Gets it off at the buzzer. No good. Rebounded by Mississippi State. Good defense there uh, that time by the Bulldogs. Still a five-point game. 20 to 15, 6.45 to go now. Mississippi State with possession on the perimeter. Miss, uh, Michigan State with a steal. Slapped the ball away. Trying to run into the lane. Dishes it back for three. In the corner. No good. Way short. Michigan State gets the rebound. Puts it back, good for two. Now a seven-point game, 22 to 15, Sparty on top. Tater man, tater man, does whatever a tater can. Yes, 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 tater man, tater man. Lou, I'd love to watch the SEC regular season champs go out quick. F the Vols. Regular season champs is so retarded. I don't, why basketball celebrates that is beyond me. College basketball has the most pointless and meaningless regular season in all of sports. And you got people celebrating regular season championships. It's fucking ridiculous. It's, it's fucking insane. You know, Tennessee regular season champs can't win a single fucking game in the SEC tourney. And you got Tennessee fans running around the internet bragging about being regular season champ. Imagine me, a Georgia fan, running around bragging that Georgia is regular season football champs last year. Georgia was 12-0 and in the regular season last year. No, SC, no other SEC team was 12-0. Yep, Georgia was regular season champs last year in college football. Wee! Imagine how retarded it would sound if somebody actually did that. That's Tennessee and everybody else running around bragging about these regular season championships in college basketball. Nobody gives a fuck. You know where champions are determined? In tournaments at the end of a season, dummy. Whether it's a playoff, whether it's an actual tournament like this, a World Series, whatever. We don't determine champions in the regular season. 
This isn't a third world sporting country. This is the United fucking States of America. <clears throat> Sankey thinks he's Kang the Conqueror, says Roger. You talking about Greg Sankey? Well, he is. He is. <laughs> How'd your last two conference commissioners work out for you, Roger Dodger? Had you circling the bowl for the last 15 years, buddy? 27 to 18, Michigan State extends the lead now to nine. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Mississippi State's got the ball. Nine seed versus an eight seed here. Michigan State, the nine seed, actually a one point favorite over the eight seed. Uh, I do think Mississippi State's probably a little bit better of a team, but I couldn't bet against Tom Izzo, so I took Michigan State minus one. And so far, so good. Mississippi State misses a two. Michigan State with the rebound now has possession down at the other end. Drives into the lane, dishes it out to the corner. Pump fakes a three, dishes to the other corner for three. No good off the uh, back of the rim. And they're going to get Miss, uh, Michigan State for a foul there uh, on the rebound Mississippi State ball. Uh, with SEC and Big Ten taking over college football, I just want to say RIP ACC and Big 12. I don't think the Big 12 is going anywhere. The ACC could eventually disappear down the road, but I don't think the Big 12 is going anywhere. <clears throat> I don't think the Big 12 is going anywhere. If you flip that Texas helmet upside, the Texas basketball coach will cry about it. Yeah, well, Texas better learn to get over that shit quick, fast, and in a hurry because in the SEC, we don't give a fuck about your feelings. And calling the SEC office once a week and crying and complaining about somebody doing this ain't going to get you a goddamn thing in the SEC. Uh, I, Texas is used to being the big boy on the block in the Big 12, and they can call and cry to the conference commissioner. Oh, some Kansas State fan did this to me. We want them fine. Not in the SEC, buddy. Not in the SEC. The more you cry about it, the worse it's going to get. Yeah, so y'all, th these Texas people better find a way to get over that dumb shit, crying about people doing this all the time. Uh, that's going to be the least of your worries uh, in the SEC. I don't follow ins and outs on basketball. Is it only the SEC that has regular season champs, or did Tennessee create it? I don't. I think every. I don't know. I think every league has a regular season champ, but it's stupid. It's stupid. Nineteen forty one and nineteen seventy three are the only dubious claims. That's fake news. That's fake. That's fake. Man, Bear Bryant died in January of nineteen eighty three. And like six months later, Alabama went back in time and magically claimed like seven national titles that they had never claimed up to that point. So don't tell me nothing about no two fake natties. Alabama claims natties for years where they lost their bowl game. Alabama claims natties for years where they finished third. Third in the SEC. Not third nationally in some poll. Alabama claims national titles in years where they finished third in the SEC. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. So fucking insecure. Here's the thing. Alabama's got a ton of legitimate national titles. So there's no real reason for them to claim fake ones other than their own pitiful, piss poor, pathetic, and sad insecurities. That's it. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. It'd be one thing if, like, Vandy was claiming four mythical national titles. Because they don't have any real ones. So they're grasping at whatever they can get. Alabama's actually got a few real national titles. In fact, they got a lot of them. So the fact that they've got to go out of their way to make up and, and invent fake fictional fantasy land natties is one of the saddest things in all the fucking sports. Period. Period. So, no, don't don't tell me there's only two fake natties. There, there's a lot more than two fake natties. 2020 is fake. 2020. Fucking nine people in the stands. <laughs> no non-con games. Some leagues played four games. Some played eight. Some played ten. Fucking Bama. Fucking claims a natty for co fucking COVID natty. I mean, damn COVID natty. I know why they claim the COVID natty. They claim the COVID natty because they were undefeated. And Bama never went undefeated in the playoff era. Ever. Not a single time. Isn't that alarming? Bama never went 15-0. and 0. Wow. Wow. That's hard to believe. Hard to believe. Weird but true. Alabama just doesn't have the ability to go 15-0. and 0.
How long are you streaming today, Lou? Well, I'm going to stream at least through the end of this Michigan State, Mississippi. A lot of it depends on how many people are watching, how many thumbs up there's been, uh, and things like that. But I'm going to stream it at least to the end of this game, and I might stream the Akron Creighton. I might just keep going with this stream and stream the Akron Creighton game, uh, which comes on later today at uh, what 1:40 or something like that. What does that come on? Uh, 1.30. That one comes on. So I might stream to the end of the Akron Creighton game. It just depends. It depends how interested uh, y'all are. It uh, depends how many people are hitting the thumbs up. Uh, all that kind of shit. Uh, yeah. Is USC's AP title under Carroll fake? Uh, didn't they, did that get taken away? I don't remember. I don't remember if that got taken away or what. Tennessee claims four fake championships and they have six total. Yeah, Tennessee claims some fake ones too. Tennessee claims some fake ones, too. Georgia could claim seven, but if they did, some of them would be fake. So instead, they only claim four. Georgia only claims the four legitimate national titles they have. They don't claim the three fake ones. But Georgia does have three fake natties. They just don't claim them. So Georgia, If Georgia took the Alabama approach, Georgia would have seven natties. But instead, they only have four because they don't claim fake natties. Georgia's dick isn't small enough to claim fake nannies. 29 to 18. The lead's been extended to 11 now for Sparty. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Michigan State's a one-point favorite, and they're up 11, which is good for me. Uh, hashtag pay Lou. Mississippi State just missed a layup, rebounded by Michigan State. They've now got possession down on the other end. Two and a half minutes to go now in the first half. 11-point game, Sparty on top. Come on. Michigan State drives off the back of the rim, no good. Put back, no good. And Michigan State actually grabbed the rebound, but his foot was out of bounds. Turnover. It'll be Mississippi State's ball. <clears throat> Fake NCAA charges don't take titles away. Yeah, it wasn't a fake NCAA charge. Southern Cal cheated and got caught. So, I mean, that's what happened. So, you cheated and got caught. There's nothing fake about the NCAA charges at all for Southern Cal in the mid 2000s. What's up, Sam? You gonna try to troll today? Good luck. Hope you've gotten better than last time. You need some trolling lessons. Is it Slim Shady Canes, I think, offers trolling lessons. Isn't that who it is? Is it, isn't it Slim Shady Canes has a trolling academy? Sam, you need to get in touch with Slim Shady Canes. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. You need some lessons. Bad. Reggie Bush will never get his Heisman back. Leave it alone. The NCAA doesn't have anything to do with Reggie Bush's Heisman. Nothing. The NCAA didn't take that Heisman away. The NCAA can't take a Heisman away. The NCAA has no authority at all over the Heisman Trophy. Zero. None. Mississippi State in the lane kicks it out for three. Buries it. Makes it an eight-point game. 29-21. to 21. Sparty up over Mississippi State with a minute 14 to go. <clears throat> you better watch out. Florida's, Auburn's, and Tennessee's of the world are going to start a new hashtag. Hashtag 2022. What? Maybe Sam Douglas could take some clown courses at Florida State. That's always a possibility. They got trapeze down there. Uh, they got a clown college down there. You can learn how to pull the never-ending handkerchief out of your pocket. Uh, they got all kinds of dumb shit in that circus school down at Florida State. The bicycle dudes need to wake up. Are they losing? Yeah, I didn't bet that game. I don't think. Let me see. Uh, but, but, but Duquesne, BYU. No, I didn't bet that game. I've got Michigan State minus one. I've got Creighton minus 12. That game comes on at 130. And I've got NC State plus five. I've got Samford plus seven and a half. Gonzaga on the money line. Iowa State, South Dakota State under 135 and a half. And I've got Texas on the money line. 
Those are my bets so far. I'll probably put some more in before the end of the day, but those are the bets I have in right now. Last shot of the first half. No good. Air ball. Your halftime score, Michigan State 29, Mississippi State 21. An eight-point game. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I was looking at the shot clock. There's still 43 seconds left in the first half. I was looking at the shot clock go down to zero, and I thought that was the game clock. There's still 43 seconds left. Michigan State with a shot clock violation there. Not the end of the first half. Still 42 seconds to go. Clock ticking. Eight-point game. 29-21. to 21, Michigan State on top. Mississippi State's got the ball for three, and they bury it. Couple of threes in a row here for Mississippi State has cut it down to a five-point lead. Michigan State 29, Mississippi State 24. 20 seconds to go now till halftime. Michigan State will hold for the last shot of the half, I'm sure. They're going to take a timeout now with 15.9 seconds. And we'll see if they can score here to end the first half. FSU is the best clown school in the world. Perfect example is just watch the Orange Bowl last year. As far as I know, FSU is the only clown school in the world. Whenever you talk about this, people think you're trolling or making it up. You can Google it. But Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey have an actual clown school, clown, circus college at Florida State. Like, that's not just trash talk that people say. That's 100% true. Uncle Lou is staying up and doing coverage of the entire NCAA tournament. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we'll be back and forth between here and Patreon. So, if you look at the schedule of games, uh, let's pull the schedule of games up. Try to figure out what we'll do the rest of the day here. NCAA men schedule. Show me the schedule. Where's the schedule? Where the schedule at? All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Michigan State, Mississippi State, Duquesne and BYU just started. Uh, Akron and Creighton at 1.30. I'll probably stay live on here for the Akron-Creighton game because I did bet that game. Uh, Arizona and Long Beach State at 2. North Carolina and Wagner at 2.45. Illinois and Moorhead State at 3.10. I may switch over to Patreon at 3 o'clock and do the Illinois game, South Carolina, Oregon. Uh, Illinois could like them. If I was going to bet the Illinois game, I'd bet Moorhead State plus the points. That could get interesting. The Oregon-South Carolina game, I think, might be one of the best games of the day. That's going to be a really good game. Really good. Nevada and Dayton at 4.30. Colorado State and Texas. I think that'll be a good game, too. I took Texas on the money line to win that one at 6.50. Oakland at Kentucky. That's another one where I would take Oakland in the points. Kentucky's like a 13 or a 14-point favorite. I think Kentucky probably wins the game, but I'd take Oakland in the points there. McNeese and Gonzaga. I actually like Gonzaga there to win and cover the spread. South Dakota State and Iowa State at 7.30. I uh, already told you I have a bet on the under. Uh, on that game, under 135 and a half points. St. Peter's at Tennessee. You already know I'm taking St. Peter's in the points there. They'd be liable to beat Tennessee. Tennessee's on a two-game losing streak. Didn't win a single game in the SEC tournament. Just another fucking uh, choke job of a season here for Tennessee. NC State at Texas Tech. I like NC State. NC State's a five-point underdog in that game. I think they could win that outright. Um, I think they could win the game, but I'm going to take NC State in the points in that one. Uh, that one's tonight. Sanford in Kansas. It's another one. If you want looking for an upset today, there's one. Sanford could beat Kansas. Uh, Drake in Washington State. That might be an interesting game. 10:05. That's the last game of the day. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Probably do. Probably stay here on YouTube through the end of the Akron Creighton game, and then probably move over to Patreon after that. Probably move over to Patreon. Uh, Maybe at 4 o'clock for this Oregon-South Carolina game, we'll move over to Patreon. So we'll do YouTube for a while here, and then we'll move over to uh, move over to Patreon this afternoon. Uh, the link to the Patreon page is in the description of the video if you want to um, hang out this afternoon and tonight and watch the rest of those games. Uh, the link to the Patreon page is in the description. I'll post it down here for you, too. There you go. Rick Barnes is 4-18 and against the spread in the tournament, Lou. Wow. Absolute poverty. Absolute poverty, ain't it? You hate to see that. You really do. As an NC State fan, I expect us to lose. We haven't won a tournament game in nine years. 
Georgia hasn't lost a tournament game in nine years. Because <laughs> they haven't played in one. <laughs> ah, wee! <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zach Bryan concert tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be there, Birmingham. I'm going to uh, I'm going to see Zach. Well, I'm taking my son to see Zach Bryan. I'm not a big country music fan, but my son likes Zach Bryan. He's never been to a concert before, so yeah, we're going to Birmingham tomorrow. So I won't be able to stream tomorrow or Saturday. I might be able to stream Saturday night. Uh, I might be able to stream Saturday night, depending on what time I get back. But we're going to see Zach Bryan tomorrow night, Friday night in Birmingham. So leaving here around lunchtime tomorrow. Going to see Zach Bryan in Birmingham, staying the night out there, and then heading back here Saturday. So I won't be able to stream any of the games tomorrow, unfortunately. Maybe some on Saturday night. And, of course, I'll be back on uh, all day Sunday. <clears throat> Makes my heart happy how much you love to troll Tennessee fans. It's almost like you're going to be bored when you can no longer troll them. I'll be able to troll them forever. There's there's no fan base you can't troll. Uh, it doesn't matter how good or how bad a team is. You can always troll. There's always ways to troll. At least a women's team makes it every once in a while. As a Georgia fan, I do not like Florida, but I do like Octavian. But even I can't look at the 2024 schedule and not feel bad for anyone playing that. Is Dylan Mulvaney going to open up for Zach Brown? I don't know anything about Zach Brown or Dylan Mulvaney, so um, you, you, you're more confused than a two-year-old in a teddy bar, man. Nobody's even talking about Zach Brown but you. He's <laughs> over here talking about Dylan Mulvaney. Boy, uh, damn, boy, your mind is gone, ain't it? Look at you. Rage typing, you fucked everything up. Zach Brown. Nobody said anything about Zach Brown, dummy. Oh, telling Mulvaney. Jesus, what a fucking retard. Oh, boy. Uh, God bless the special and the stupid. God bless the special and the stupid. All right, it's halftime. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'll be back in about, I don't know, three or four minutes.
Yeah. Hit you with one of these. Where's the? Here you go. Five star dummy. LSU winning 20 natties. What? Between now and the end of time or what? Disney hates everyone. ESPN hates everyone. Lou hates everyone. Now you're caught up. Yeah, I'm not sure who you're trolling there, but yeah, that, that's a good troll there because, of course, everybody thinks everybody hates their team, you know? Everybody thinks that. <clears throat> Florida football's problem is its fans? Well, I think in general, fans are always more of a problem than not, but Florida's got other problems that, beside, I mean... Uh, administration is a big problem at Florida. Head coach is a big problem at Florida. Uh, you know, being like eighth or ninth in the SEC and recruiting is a big problem for Florida. Do you plan on doing more comment on the comments videos? Uh, yes, I do. I don't know when, but yeah, I love doing those. They take a lot of time to do, which is why I don't do a ton of them, but. I got to sift through thousands and thousands and thousands of comments to find, you know, 10 or 12 to do a video for. But Florida fans are not the problem when Miami fans won't even go to free games. Yeah, that's true. The attendance at Miami games is pitiful. Like, really bad. Really bad. Well, Clint Eastwood's here with his Ballard is drunk routine. <clears throat> Halftime, Michigan State and Mississippi State. Michigan State was a one-point favorite. I did bet this game. I had Michigan State minus one. And they are up by seven at halftime. So I'm looking good there. Looking good with the pay Lou early, uh, early today. That's good. Did you fill out a slob bracket? No, I don't fill out brackets. I don't fill out brackets. Florida is as bad as Miami's fan base. Damn. Now that's something. That's something there. Wow. That's pretty bad. What's going on with this BYU game? 26 to 20, is that what that says? 26 to 20, Duquesne up over BYU, an 11 seed over a 6 seed there. Five minutes to go in the first half. Six point lead for Duquesne. Lou, please tell Octavian we aren't getting Kiffin. If we were, we would have already had him. He doesn't want this shit. Y'all should fire Napier and throw everything you have at Kiffin. Whether or not you could get him, I don't know. But that would be a coach I wouldn't want Florida to get, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. I would not want Florida to get Lane Kiffin as a Georgia fan. <clears throat> There's no guarantees. There's never a guarantee when you change coaches. Could be really good, could be really bad. But that wouldn't be a hire where I would come on and predict failure. Um, that, that could work at Florida. Lane Kiffin at Florida could work. Florida couldn't beat Syracuse. Dang. Wow. That's bad. That's pretty bad there. What? What? You come in here and look around like you... you don't you... You need to get a job or something. Lane Kiffin will be the OC at UGA in a couple of years? Ah, uh, no. 
I don't see Lane Kiffin going back to being an offensive coordinator in college somewhere. I don't see that at all. I don't see that happening. Florida is bad in the SEC. If they were in the ACC, they'd be the third best team, says some guy. I don't know about it. Th- I don't know. They're behind. They'd be behind Clemson and Florida State. I think they'd be behind NC State. They're probably behind Louisville. They're probably behind Virginia. Seriously, trying to figure out who's going to win more games this year: Vanderbilt or Florida? I'll go with. Uh, I'll go with Florida. I'll go with Florida. I think Florida could get to five wins. Vanderbilt, two or three. Have y'all hit the thumbs up? That's the least you can do. I'm streaming in the middle of a day on a Thursday. And on top of that, I'm streaming during a basketball game. What am I doing? I've got so many games. Look, were y'all on the stream the other day when I showed how many games I had bet in the last seven days? Holy moly. I've got problems. I've got some problems, don't I? Oh, boy, I've got problems. If Kirby was to retire, who would you want to replace him? What, like right now? Uh, Dan Lanning. Second half just underway, Michigan State, Mississippi State. 31-24 was your halftime score. Michigan State up seven at the half over Mississippi State. Michigan State shoots and nails a two-pointer to start the second half. Extends the lead 33-24. to They're now up nine. Second half just underway. Michigan State was a one-point favorite here, and I did bet Michigan State minus one, so looking good for me on the pay loop. Mississippi State with the ball now. Three from the corner, and it's good. Drained it. Six-point game, 33-27. to Michigan State moving fast into the lane, knocked away by Mississippi State. Probably saved an easy layup there. Out of bounds. Michigan State's ball. 19-12 to go, second half. Helmets look fantastic. Well, thank you, sir, UJ. We're working on slowly but slowly. Slowly but surely, we're working on them. Why is UJ basketball so bad? I don't think as an administration or as a school, Georgia puts nearly enough emphasis on basketball to be good. Being good in a sport, especially at a high level, does not happen by accident. You've got to have full, complete, and total buy-in by everybody from the school president down. And they have that in football, clearly. Uh, But for whatever reason, uh, they don't seem to be willing to take basketball serious. And I'm no college basketball expert, so I can't tell you, like, well... They need to fire Mike White and hire this guy or that guy, or they need to recruit these kind of players or that, or the transfer. I don't know. I'm not a college basketball fan. I'm a gambling fan. That's the only reason I'm watching college basketball right now, because I'm gambling on the game. Um, I'm not even a Georgia fan in basketball. I'm not any fan of anything. I'm a fan of gambling. That's it when it comes to basketball. Um, I think I watched four or five Georgia basketball games this year, and that's only because I happen to be gambling on them. I bet on Georgia a couple of times, and I bet against Georgia a couple of times. Mississippi State scores again, six-point game, 35-29. to Like in football, I would never bet against Georgia. There are plenty of weeks I don't bet on Georgia, but I would never bet against them. In basketball, I've got no problem betting against Georgia if I think if, 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 you know, if I think there's money to be made by betting the other way, it doesn't bother me at all. Georgia could lose every game they play in basketball 100 to nothing. I'd sleep just fine. I'm just not emotionally invested in basketball like I am football. Wow, Mississippi State had a breakaway. They went for the slam, and Michigan State knocked it away. But now Mississippi State steals it back. This is a turnover fest here early in the second half. 
And Mississippi State's got a player down after that block on the other end by Michigan State. Timeout on the floor while they check on him. 17-59 to go in the second half. Six-point game, Michigan State on top. They need to update the Steg. Yeah, I don't even I don't even call it Stegman Coliseum. I call it Stegman Mausoleum. It, it's a like a constant funeral in there. <clears throat> but yeah, it's old and decrepit and raggedy. They don't put any money in the bat. All the money goes to the football program. I mean, we all know how that works. Uh, you'd have a heart attack if your heart had to be dedicated to two sports. Yeah, can you imagine if I was all in on Georgia basketball like I am football? Good lord. I wouldn't live to see 50. Unlikely Caleb Downs transfers to UJ, most likely another grass cutter rumor. Uh, I don't think he's transferring at all. I think he's staying at Ohio State. Nothing would surprise me, though. These people now, look at Caden Proctor. Guy leaves Alabama. Well, guy commits to Iowa in high school. Last minute, he flips to Bama. Plays there for one year. Enters the portal. Recommits to Iowa. And now two months later, enters the portal again. And now headed back to Bama. So nothing would surprise me, but I don't think Caleb Downs is leaving Ohio State. I think he's going to I think he's gonna play there next year. Mississippi State with the ball. Backing their way into the lane. Double team comes from Michigan State. And they force a turnover out of bounds off the leg of a Mississippi State player. Sparty's ball. 35-29 to 29 is to score. Michigan State up over Mississippi State. 17-35 to go in the second half. <clears throat> Michigan State with the ball and a six point lead. Jumper, no good. Michigan State grabs the offensive rebound into the lane now off the glass and in. 37 to 29, an eight point lead for Sparty. 17 minutes to go now. Michigan State a one-point favorite. I did bet Michigan minus one, so I need them to win by two points or more uh, so we can get Lou paid today. Florida is so bad that Tom, Betty's, Tom Petty says he's cutting all ties with the university. Well, Tom Petty's dead. So the better joke would be, well, I don't know. Is it too soon? Florida is so bad that it killed Tom Petty. It's hard for me to make fun of other schools when it comes to, like, music that they play or entrance songs or anything like that. Whenever Georgia is still trotting out onto the field to Baba fucking Bowie or whatever, to Baba O'Reilly, and that fucking dried up, played out, non-exciting, please remain seated fucking entrance song that Georgia had. Georgia's got the worst entrance song in all of major college football. It's absolutely terrible. So it's hard for me to make a lot of fun of other teams with their some of the uh, musical gimmicks that they have because Georgia's got the worst one on planet Earth. Georgia's entrance song is fucking, it puts you to sleep. I mean, there, there's absolutely nothing about Baba O'Reilly that excites anybody or Teenage Wasteland or whatever the fuck that song is called. There is absolutely nothing about that song that excites anybody. Least of all, uh, 118 to 22 year old kids. How how they get hyped up and excited running out of a tunnel to Baba fucking O'Reilly is, is beyond me. A joke of a fucking entrance song there for Georgia. You know who likes it? Every Georgia fan age 55 and older. And that's who likes it. That's it to nobody else. Yeah, exactly, Sam. Boomers won't let it go. Won't back down at the end of the third quarter is one of the best traditions in football. I don't know about that. I don't know about one of the best traditions in football, but I'm not going to make fun of it when Georgia has Bob O'Reilly. But I don't think won't back down in the third quarter of a Florida game is showing up on anybody's list of best traditions in college football. Michigan State with a long three. No, I'm sorry. Mississippi State with a long three. No good. Rebound grabbed by Michigan State. They're up 12, 41 to 29. Jumper, foul, shot no good, but Michigan State will be shooting two free throws here. The old fuddy-duddies will hold on to the who forever, which fires up nobody. 
Yeah, unfortunately, those are the dumbasses that give money. You know, it tend, people that give a lot of money to universities, not always, but they tend to be older. And those people don't want to see that fucking song go because, oh, their granddaddy used to take them and they used to sit on the other side of the train tracks and watch Buck fucking Blue hand the ball off 1,900,000 times a game and, and, and cheer for fucking Bob O'Reilly and they don't want to change it. So, whatever. But yeah, it it is the worst entrance song in all of football. Georgia's entrance song. Fucking Bob O'Reilly. Can you take me higher by Creed would be ideal. What? Stop it. We're trying to come up with a better song, not a worse one. You need to stop that. Sounds silly as fuck. Commercial break in the game here. Let's check in on the uh, Bicycle College. Hopefully the Bicycle College is embarrassing itself. Let's see. Uh, Yes, the Bicycle College is embarrassing itself as a 6 seed. Uh, They're losing to the 11 seed. Duquesne up on BYU, 33-28. to I I could tell y'all something about my son, but y'all would troll me to kingdom come. Um... Which is allowed, but trolling my son is not allowed. I control, I, I control my son, but y'all can't. But I could tell y'all something about my son, but I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think y'all are. Instead of, instead of using that information to troll me, which would be fine, some of you would use it to troll my son, and then I'd have to hide you from the channel, and it would, you know, you'd spend the rest of your life crying on Twitter that Uncle Lou blocked you on YouTube, and, you know, and nobody wants that. But I could tell you something about my son that would cause you to troll me. Uh, unfortunately, some of you uh, would take it too far. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's up, that Gump fan? How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Football's always been king in the South, but we're okay at other sports. Swimming, horses, golf, tennis, and track. Basketball, boring. We had good gym dogs, but coach retired. She was a goat. Well, the South's good at basketball, too. The SEC is probably the second-best basketball conference behind the Big 12. Uh, the SEC is way better than the ACC, that's for sure. What did the ACC get four teams in? Wow, poverty. SEC got like eight or nine. What? Why? You keep coming in here. Come here. Eat Chew Review says he'd rather be good at basketball than football. You're in the wrong part of the country, then. I don't know what to tell you. Become a Tennessee fan. That's about the best you could do. Become a Tennessee fan. They suck in football, but at least they managed to get ranked in basketball. I was you. You should become a Tennessee fan with that. If that type of attitude, forty-three to twenty-nine, Michigan State has extended the lead to fourteen. Now running away with it here, Mississippi State with the ball, pass into the paint, no good, but fouled. Mississippi State be shooting free throws now. Dylan says, I need BYU to win. Did you bet on that game? I try not to bet on BYU games because I hate BYU so much. It's hard for me to bet those games. It's hard for me to take the emotion out of it because I just hate BYU. The only people that care about being good at basketball suck at football, says some guy. I'm a Florida fan. We're good at every other sport but football right now. I don't know. It's not what I heard. I heard y'all want the athletic director fired because you're not good at anything. That's what I've been hearing from Florida for the last couple of years, but all right. Good at everything.
Mississippi State with a dunk. Cuts the lead to 11, 43 to 32. Under 15 minutes to go in the game, and Michigan State turns the ball over. Mississippi State on a run, puts it in off the glass. Nine point game now, 43 to 34. Mississippi State going on a little run here, trying to cut into this Michigan State lead. Michigan State was a one point favor. I did bet Michigan State minus one, so don't do anything stupid, Sparty. Slow this thing down, just keep the lead. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I want a no sweat win. Is that too much to ask for? A no sweat win? I don't want to have to spend the last 10 minutes of this game hollering and running around this room and sweating and all this shit. Just let, can I just have an easy win here? Michigan State misses a jumper. Mississippi State with the rebound. They've got the ball down on the other end. Into the lane. Puts it up off the glass. Fouled. And the basket counts. Chance for a three-point play here for Mississippi State. They are on a run. They've scored the last six, seven points, something like that. Michigan State needs to take a timeout here. Recoup, regroup, something. They're fucking up the pay Lou. Is Jackpot upset, Cox? Don't play UGA, UT, or Florida for the next two seasons. I've got no idea. Helmet wall looks cool, Lou. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm working on it. Uh, I'm working on it. I am working on it. Ain't no such thing as a no sweat win in March Madness. Well, you get them every once in a while. You get them every once in a while. I, 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 yeah, boy, yeah, you should have seen me last night. La that damn Colorado game last night, boy, had me. Uh-oh, Alley oop and the slam for Michigan State. Puts an end to that Mississippi State run that they were on. The lead back to 11 now. Mississippi State with the ball in the corner. Passes down low. And Michigan State called for a reach in, a foul. Thoughts on the 2025 football SEC opponents? They're the exact same as this year, just swapping the home field. If you could go to any Georgia game this year for free, what game would you go to? Uh, well, I'm not going to any Georgia game for free or otherwise, but I think the, the most interesting game on the schedule is Georgia at Texas. I should have took Duquesne money line, says Oregon, man. I didn't bet that game. I bet Michigan State minus one, and then I have Creighton at 130. Creighton minus 12, I think. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let me see. What do I have here? Uh, yeah, I have Creighton minus 12 coming up at 130. I also have NC State plus five, Samford plus seven and a half, Gonzaga on the money line, Iowa State, South Dakota State under 135 and a half, and Texas on the money line. Those are the bets I have in so far. I will bet more games, but those are the ones, uh, those are the bets I went ahead and made this morning. I will bet some more as the day goes on. Lou, is this your first year doing a March Madness stream? I love it. No, I've done them before. I may have only done them on Patreon in the past. I don't remember. And we're going to be moving over to Patreon uh, for the, uh, after, the, after the early games. So Mississippi State, Michigan State, I'm going to do Akron-Creighton. We're going to keep the stream going for the Akron-Creighton game, which comes on, I think, at 1.30. So it should be starting any minute now. Uh, in fact, it's already started, and Creighton is up 16-14, to 14, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this one, too, the Creighton-Akron game, because I've got money on that. I'm going to stream right here on YouTube until the end of the Akron-Creighton game. Then I'm going to shut the stream down, and then I'm going to come back on at 4 o'clock for Oregon and South Carolina, but that will be on Patreon. So those of you who are members over on the Patreon page, you know the deal. I'll post a link over on the Patreon page at about 345. Just go to my Patreon page at 345. You'll see the link posted. Click on the link, and it'll take you to the stream for the uh, for the afternoon games. Oregon, South Carolina at 4. Nevada and Dayton at 430. Colorado State and Texas at 650. And we'll do that over on Patreon. Oh, and then, the, of course, you got the night games. Tennessee plays tonight. Kentucky plays tonight. Uh, Gonzaga, uh, NC State. There's a lot of good games on tonight, but but we're going to move it over to Patreon at 4 o'clock. <clears throat> St. Peter's plus 21.5. Yes, easy money. 
Betting against Tennessee in the sweets in the in the NCAA tournament is easy money. That's fact. That's fact, Jack. Tennessee's dog water in the month of March. They're currently on a two-game losing streak. Tennessee is. Tennessee didn't win a single game in the SEC tournament. My God. We were just talking about how bad Georgia is, and Georgia is bad. I mean, basketball, they're terrible. Uh, but Georgia won a game in the SEC tournament, though. Not Tennessee. Nope. Not Tennessee. Winless in the SEC tournament. Uh, but if you go on Twitter, they'll be glad to tell you about how uh, they're, they're regular season champions or some dumb shit like that. Mississippi State with a slam. Cuts the lead to 8, 49 to 41. Mississippi State keeps getting this lead down to like 7 or 8 points, and then Michigan State goes on a run and gets it back up to 12. We'll see what happens here. But yet again, Mississippi State has cut this to an 8-point lead with 11 and a half to go. Let's see if they can play some defense or if Michigan State keeps scoring. Michigan State with the ball, dribbling deep back near half court. Now they kick it out. Long two is good. Back to a 10-point lead, 51 to 41, 11 minutes to go. Now Mississippi State with the ball. Creighton still up two, 16 to 14. 15 and a half minutes to go in the first quarter of that one. I'm probably gonna have, let me, I'm gonna have to turn that one on too. Don't worry, I got multiple TVs, you already know. I got more TVs. It's ridiculous. I got more TVs in this house than I do spoons. It's retarded. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, live on YouTube. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Akron Zips. Yes, that's the game I'm looking for. Uh, right. Give me that. And that. Bop, bop. All right. There we go. Still 16 to 14. Creighton up on Akron. I need Creighton to start scoring. I've got Creighton minus 12 in this one. 13 and a half minutes to go in the first half, so still early, but I need Creighton to get it together here. Need Creighton to get it together here. Looks like I'm going to cover this Michigan State bet. I've got Michigan State minus one. I've got Creighton minus 12. Uh, oh, Creighton just scored again. It's now 18 to 14. Creighton is on a 7-0 run right now against Akron. Creighton, of course, a three seed. Akron, the 14. And Creighton, uh, Creighton favored by 12. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I think I said the other day I could see Creighton making the Final Four, which is one of the reasons I bet them today. But Akron just nailed a three from the corner. It's now a one-point game, 18-17, to 17, Creighton up. What site do you use for your bets? I have a local guy. I don't. It's not a site like that. Not, I mean, uh, I have a, a, a local bookie. I make the bets online. But the money isn't exchanged online. I just have a login to this his his personal book his personal site. I make the bets online and then we settle up every Monday. Does gambling make sports more fun or more stressful? Both. Both. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Lou, you getting us till four PM would be perfect because I'll be able to listen till I get off of work. Well, uh, you, you know what they say, Austin. Uncle Lou, here for you. Uh, happy to help, sir. Happy to help. Yep, happy to help. Lou, is this your first year doing March Madness? Oh, I think we talked about that a minute ago. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Bet Now is good. Yeah, I used to use Bet Now. Uh, Bet Now used to sponsor the channel, but then YouTube changed their rules about who can and can't sponsor channels or what, uh, what gambling uh, people can and can't uh, sponsor channels. So I had to... Uh, I had to give up my bet now deal. Easier matchup for my Tar Heels if Michigan State wins. That would be a good one. Michigan State versus North Carolina. Tom Izzo versus UNC. Listening to Lou while working, gang. There you go. Help you pass the time there. Commercial in both the games for no reason at all. I, I, I swear, 
They do that in football, too. You know, sometimes on Saturdays during the football season, I'll be watching four or five games at a time in here on, on these TVs, and every single, and all on different channels, and they'll all be on a commercial break at the same time. I swear they're like in some kind of cahoots in that. Uh, but a 10-point lead here for Michigan State with 10 and a half minutes to go. I need them to hang on. I've got Michigan State minus one. That was my first bet of the day. Here they are from three-point land, and they drain it from the corner. Now a 13-point lead for Sparty. Uh, I'm going to win this Michigan State bet. I'm feeling pretty confident. They're up 13 with 10 minutes to go. I only need them to win by two or more. I feel pretty good about that bet. Creighton is my second bet of the day. I have Creighton uh, minus 12. And uh, that one's not looking so good right now. Uh, that one's not looking so good right now. They're only up one uh, with about 11 minutes to go in the first half. So still plenty of time, but I need them to start pulling away here from uh, the Akron Zips. Uh, yeah, Akron Zips. I have an Akron helmet. Uh, it's not up here. It's not on the wall yet. Uh, but I do have an Akron helmet. I don't have a Creighton helmet, but that's because I don't think Creighton has a team. You got anything special planned for the new Lou Man Cave? Uh, not, no, not, I mean, what do you mean? Like, like decorations or something? No, I'm just going to put the helmets on the wall. I'm just going to put the helmets on the wall. Uh, but uh, everybody that sends a super chat, I'll put a helmet on the wall, Mike. So you don't have to send another super chat. Just let me know in the chat which helmet that's not on the wall do you want me to put on the wall. I'll go get it, and I'll put it on the wall right now. Yeah, if there's a helmet you want me to put on the wall. Eventually, I'll get them all put up. What do you think of Bowers going to the Chargers? I don't think anything about it one way or the other. I think whoever gets him is getting uh, one of the best players in the draft. Have you ever have you ever been or considered going to Florida, Georgia, and Jacksonville? Yes, I've been to that game. I've been to that game. Wow, 14-point lead now for Michigan State. So they're pulling away. Need Creighton to get it together, though. I don't know what they're doing. Kind of screwing around shit they got going on, but Creighton's got to get it together. I've got Creighton minus 12. They need to get their shit together. They need to get their shit together. Yeah, this is one of the best sporting weekends of the year, Mike. No question about it. This is one of the best sporting weekends of the year. This first round, these first couple of rounds of Hearts Madness. <laughs> <clears throat> it is. That's a fact. It is a fact. 21 to 19, Creighton up over Akron. A two point game here. Akron's got the ball. Down two with 11 and a half minutes to go in the first. I might be a five star dummy on this one. I bet Creighton minus 12. I might be a five-star dummy here. I might be a five-star dummy. Akron for three. No good off the front of the rim. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Creighton's ball. Uh, went to my first UGA game last year. I'm going to go to my first Florida-Georgia game this year, says Asante Beckett. You'll enjoy it, man. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I don't think the game should be played down there. I think it's ridiculous. I think college football games should be played on college campuses, not in Jacksonville, Florida, for no reason. But it is a fun, uh, yeah, it is a fun experience. The only thing Lou needs is one of those classic popcorn machines in the man cave. <laughs> yeah. Work production took a nosedive at twelve. Says P digits. Yeah. That's a fact. Here you come again. Now, now you, what do you want now? You really got to find something to do, man. A job, a hobby, something. Who's Somebody's got to know somebody hiring. If UJ ever going to play Texas A&M on the road, doesn't look like it, does it? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Stop mistreating my dog. <laughs> I'm not mistreating him. He's good. I want to go to the Georgia-Tennessee game next year in Knoxville. I always wanted to see a game in Neyland, says Nick. That'd be a good one to go to. That'll be 2025. They play in Athens this year, 2025, back in Knoxville. Mm. 
Lou, which are you more interested, UJ at Bama or UJ at Texas? Uh, UJ at Texas, just because never seen it before, just because it's new. But those are, I mean, those are both great games for you know, obviously. <clears throat> but uh, UJ at Texas, just because. Well, I think Georgia and Texas are the two best teams in the SEC, and it's just a, it's one of the new, it's one of the new matchups that we're getting to see, uh, out, you know, after this round of expansion. Creighton's still up one over Akron. Michigan State up 14 over Mississippi State, blowing them out. <clears throat> Best time of the year. There's going to be four games on at once starting at 2 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, uh, during the first weekend of March Madness, I was in Cherokee, uh, and that's a lot of fun, sitting in a sports book at a casino during this first weekend of March Madness. That was a lot of fun. No Cherokee this weekend because I'm going to the uh, taking Lou Jr. to that concert tomorrow in Birmingham, Alabama. But I will be in Cherokee next week, Monday through Thursday. Come hang out with me. Come gamble with me. I'll be up there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. I'll be up uh, going up there Monday, coming back Thursday. Come gamble with Uncle Lou at the Harris in Cherokee next week. Best time of the year. I'm going to Tennessee at Oklahoma, says Captain Trips. That'll be a good one, too. That's early in the year, too. I think that's like week three or week four. That's a big game for Tennessee, I think. I think that's a big game for Tennessee. Still a 15-point lead for Sparty. Creighton up two, 21-19, 11-15 to go in the first half of that one. Creighton's got the ball. Need to start scoring some points here, Creighton. I've got Creighton minus 12. That's not looking good. Michigan State minus one. This is going to be an easy winner here, Michigan State minus one. So we're going to get Lou paid on this first game of March Madness here. But Creighton minus 12 got me sweating here early. Only a two-point lead. Creighton misses a jumper. Rebounded by Akron. Akron with the ball into the paint. Dishes it out wide. Back into the lane, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Creighton. Uh, Mew2 says, Lou, please tell me you ain't go in on the McNeese versus Gonzaga. They may be closer than people think. Uh, uh, did I bet that game? Uh, I took Gonzaga on the money line. I didn't, I didn't lay the points. I just took Gonzaga on the money line. So I didn't lay whatever they are, like a five-point favorite or whatever they are. I don't remember, but I didn't lay the points. I took Gonzaga on the money line. So all Gonzaga's just got to win by one. <clears throat> you picked McNeese. They're really good. Well, you picked them to win or you took them with the points? If Creighton loses here, it's going to bust millions of brackets. Yeah, I didn't make a bracket, but if I would have, I would have had Creighton in my final four, maybe. I was pretty high on Creighton. Creighton, well, speaking of Creighton, they just drained a three. 24 to 21, the score now. Creighton up over Akron. 9.30, nine and a half minutes to go in the first half. Oh, for your bracket, you picked McNeese over Gonzaga. Gonzaga nowhere nearly, nowhere near as good this season as they have been the last, what whatever, decade. They're, they're not a great team this year. That's for sure. What's up? Uh, Z200 says, how's it going? Going good, buddy. Good to see you in here. <clears throat> Do you think SEC adding Florida State and Clemson would be too many teams? I think it becomes merely impossible to rotate team matchups often. Well, what's going to happen is you're just going to get all of the teams are going to join the Big Ten and the SEC, and then the Big Ten and the SEC are going to split into different divisions, and you're not going to play the teams from the other um, side. I mean, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be just like the NFL. It's going to be just like the AFC and the NFC. It's not going to be any different. Big fan of your channel. Hey, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. What's up, Lou? Can't wait for Texas versus Georgia. Going to be a barn burner. Yeah, it'll be a good one. That'll be a good one. Georgia's about a three-point favorite in that game right now in the early market. Um, we'll see what happens by the time the game comes around. But right now, Georgia's favored by about two or three points there. Cody Hankins says, I have Alabama win it all. Well, that's because you're a delusional, blind homer uh, who speaks broken English. We know you, you have Bama winning everything all the time. We know that. 
What up, Lou? Can't wait for Texas first, Georgia. Hey, Jared, what's going on, buddy? 27 to 25. Creighton still just up two. Eight and a half minutes to go in the first half. I'm a five-star dummy because I bet Creighton minus 12, and that's not looking too promising early in this game here. Akron giving them all they want. Uh, but uh, with that being said, Akron just commits a foul here. Foul on Akron. Be Creighton's ball. Alabama's most overrated four seed, says Eat, Chew, Review. Alabama's got a really good offense, but they got no defense at all. So as soon as Alabama plays somebody that can score with them, they're going to lose, Whenever, whatever round that is. Alabama's got one of the worst defenses of any team in the tournament. How you feeling on Trevor Etienne? Oh, I love Trevor Etienne. Yeah, I think he'll fit in good. I think he'll fit in good at Georgia. Akron misses a three. Creighton with the rebound. Bring the ball up to court. Passing it around three-point land. Into the lane. Puts it up. No good. Not a good shot there for Creighton at all. Akron with the rebound. Down on their end now. Passes it down low. Jump hook. No good. Rebound Creighton. Alabama basketball is the opposite of last year's football team. Akron with a steal. And they tie the game up at 27 apiece. Got a steal at half court and an uncontested free throw. All tied up 27 apiece, Akron and Creighton. No good. Lou donating money on this game. Uh, I'm a five-star dummy. It's official. I took Creighton minus 12. And uh, Akron's giving them all they can handle here. All tied up with like, I don't know, eight or nine minutes to go in the first half. I'm going to win the Michigan State game, though, so it looks like I'm going to be 1-1. One one. I'm going to win this Michigan State game for sure. I've got Michigan State minus 1. They're up 13 with 7 minutes to go. I'm not worried about that. But Creighton, shit in the bed. Not good. Fuck Creighton. They're dead to me. Uh, they're dead to me. Uncle Lou, I'm going to put in a request for a band for you to play. It's called Rise Against. That's the band. They got a lot of songs. Not playing any songs on this stream. Uh, not playing any songs on this stream. Uh, the songs will be uh, the, the call-in show and the lunch money show. We play, we'll play songs, but I can't play any songs on this stream. Michigan State will give North Carolina a tough game. Yeah, I think that'll be a good one. Tom Izzo is no joke. You got to take him seriously in the tournament. One of the best coaches around anymore. Jeremy says, I have Creighton winning it all. Yeah, a lot of people had him in the Final Four. I, I didn't do a bracket, but I probably would have had him in the Final Four, too. Uh, but damn, Akron's giving them all they want here in the first round. Hey, what's up, Zona, man? Good luck today, although I don't think you're going to need it. Uh, Arizona's going to blow out Long Beach State. I didn't bet on that game just, but, I mean, because I think Arizona could beat them by 30. But you just never know what's going to happen in these lopsided games once it gets late in the second half. So I decided not to play it, but... You know, Arizona's in just a huge favorite there. What were they favored by, like, 25, 26 points, something like that? I decided to stay away from that one. Uh, but, yeah, Arizona will win, no problem. Michigan State into the lane, strong. Offensive rebound, kicks it out for three, no good, air ball. And a shot clock violation, turnover. It'll be Mississippi State's ball, but they're down 14 with six minutes to go. The Blue Bloods are not that strong this year. Well, one of them might still win it all, UConn. I think UConn's the best team in the country. I, I know this isn't the NBA, but if this was the NBA where you played like a best of seven series, there's not a team in the country that would beat UConn in a seven game series. Now, you don't have to beat them in a seven. You only got to get lucky and beat them once, but uh, UConn is the best team in the country, I think. They, they're my pick to win it all. Mississippi State for three, no good. Michigan State grabs the rebound. Still up 14, five and a half minutes to go now. Lou, don't troll. Answer me, do you think Napier makes it out of September with a job? Yes, I do. I do. I don't think he'll be fired until November. I got Houston beating UConn in the finals. Yeah, Houston's really good. Their, their offense worries me, though. I mean, Iowa State completely shut them down. 
in, in the Big 12 title game. Houston's defense is no joke. I mean, they've got the best defense in the country for sure. Um, and I know Iowa State's got a good defense, but, I mean, they completely shut Houston. Houston had 14 points in the first half of that game. That worries me. That seems like something that's going to catch up with Houston at some point during the season. Um, so I, I can't – I don't know. They now they may make it to the Final Four. They may make it to the Finals. I don't know. But I, I can't see Houston win at all just because just I don't trust them offensively. They're sort of the opposite of Alabama. You know, Alabama's got a great offense. They ain't score 90 points. But, if you know, if, if they score 90, they're going to give up 85. And eventually, they're going to run into a team that can outscore them. And instead of winning 90 to 85, they're going to lose 100 to 90. Huge lead now for Michigan State. They're up 17, 66 to 49, under five minutes to go. All tied up 29 apiece in this Creighton-Akron game. So this looks like we might have a uh, end up with a good game here. Now, I'm an idiot. I took Creighton minus 12, so I'm not feeling good about that. I'm going to win the Michigan State bet. So it looks like I'm going to be 1-1 one one in the early games here today. I took North Carolina winning it all. I hope it's not like last year when I picked Purdue to win it and they lost in the first round. Purdue struggles in the tournament. I like them, and there ain't a team in the country that can uh, do anything about that Zach Eady guy, that center for Purdue. There's not a team in the country that can, do, I mean, to, that can handle him. But uh, they're, they're like Tennessee. They're so bad in the tournament, it's hard to pick them to do anything. Four and a half minutes to go, 16-point lead for Michigan State. 31 apiece is your score, Creighton and Akron. Akron's got the ball. Jumper in the lane, no good, rebounded by Creighton. 5.45 to go. Creighton with the ball, all tied up, 31 apiece. Into the lane, out of bounds, off Creighton, turnover. <clears throat> Akron's going to get the ball back. Uh, 5.38 to go in the first half, all tied up, 31 apiece. UConn or Auburn for the Natty. Uh, I don't think there's a team in the SEC that has a chance to win it other than Kentucky. I think Kentucky's the only team good enough in the SEC that could win it all. They're too inconsistent. I mean, they're inconsistent, but uh, I think Kentucky's the only team in the SEC that if they actually played up to their potential could win it all, but I don't think they will. I don't think anybody in the SEC is winning it. There is a chance the first three games could be upset, says Eat Chew Review. <clears throat> Not much of an upset here in this Michigan State-Mississippi State game. It's an 8-9 matchup, and uh, Michigan State was only favored by one, so it's a small upset, uh, I guess, in terms of seeding. But Michigan State was actually favored to win. I got Marquette, Arizona in the finals with Marquette winning it all. I don't know. I I, I only watched a couple of Marquette games this year. I, I bet on a couple of Marquette games, and I was just never really overly impressed with them. Lou, are you expecting Oklahoma in football defense to get better this year? If so, where do you think they'll finish in the SEC? I agree with your Texas prediction. They better get better because uh, if they don't, they're going to be a six-win team. I mean – that's red facts. I mean, I, even the Oklahoma man would have to agree with that. If their defense is the same as it was last year, they'll win six games this year with that schedule they have. I mean, they better hope it gets a lot better. Third year, Brent Venables. I mean, how much longer do we have to wait? I mean, it's not that Oklahoma didn't have an elite defense last year. They had an absolute fucking garbage pail kids defense last year. It was just terrible. It, no different than the Lincoln Riley defenses. It's got to get a lot better, because I don't think their offense is going to be as good this year as it was last year. I think Jackson Arnold right now is a downgrade from Dylan Gabriel. Now, after Jackson Arnold gets a year of experience under his belt or whatever the case, he may end up one day being better than Dylan Gabriel. But I don't think Jackson Arnold in 2024 is going to be as good as Dylan Gabriel was in 2023. Uh, they got issues along the offensive line. They got to get worked out. Um, I mean, I think their offense will be okay, but I don't think it'll be as good as it was last year. So that defense is going to have to get a whole lot better if Oklahoma's got any chance of getting the double-digit wins.
Yeah, I don't know what Creighton's doing. That no one can score. It's been five minutes since anybody scored. It's still 31-31. No one scored in the last three minutes of basketball time, which is about 10 minutes of real time. 31 to 31 still. Creighton with the ball. In the lane. They're going to get somebody with a travel or a foul. What is this? They call a travel there? I don't know what happened, and now they're going to another commercial break. I don't have the volume on on that game, but I don't know if they call it a foul on Akron, a travel on Creighton, or if someone just took a timeout. I don't know. But now they're on, they went to a commercial break now. Now that Ohio State has Chip Kelly, I think it's over for the rest of college football. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ohio State's going to be a really good team, but the idea that you can just mail it in, that's it, Ohio State's winning it all, that's retarded thinking there. They might win it all, but the idea that it's some sort of a guarantee is uh, borderline Asperger's. <laughs> Why did I bet on Creighton says sports? I did too. I took Creighton minus 12 like a five-star dummy. <clears throat> Here, this is me. This is me betting on Creighton. Five-star dummy. Luckily, I bet Michigan State, so that, that, you know that'll just zero that out. I'm gonna be one and one. I'm gonna be one and one on the early games. Is Downs going back to Bama? My guess would be no. That he stays at Ohio State. Who's the most overrated team in college football the last ten years? I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at all the preseason rankings and compare that to the final rankings every year and all that kind of thing. I don't know. No idea. No idea. Caleb Downs is not leaving to come back to Bama. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's not a guarantee, but these days all the other teams are trash, says Hunter. Every team in the country besides Ohio State is trash? You're the dumbest person in the comment section so far today, Hunter. And that's saying something because at any given minute, well, let me t let me let me just put it to you this way, Hunter. I want you to think about how dumb the average person is, okay? And then I want you to realize that that means half the people are dumber than that. With that being said, you're somehow the dumbest person in here today so far with that comment. Ohio State is good and every other team is trash, okay? All right, well, good luck on the road at Oregon. And you already know Ohio State's not winning a natty unless they somehow get all the way through the playoffs without having to play an SEC team. Ohio State can't beat an SEC team if their life depended on it. So in order for Ohio State to win a natty, they've, number one, got to make the playoffs, which means they've got to win some of those games against teams like Oregon and Michigan instead of losing them all the time, which is what they've been doing. They lost to Oregon two years ago in the regular season. They've lost to Michigan three years in a row. But even if they somehow do all that and make the 12-team playoff, they've then got to get into a bracket that somehow doesn't involve them having to play any SEC team at any point along the way. Because the minute they play an SEC team, they're eliminated. I mean, they're it. That, that's it. It's over at that point. They can't beat an SEC team. Not to save their life, they can't beat an SEC team. Lou, how do you feel about the Proctor, Iowa, Bama situation? I mean, is anybody surprised? I mean, people do this all the time now, transferring two and three times. It doesn't surprise me. I think it's bad for his development to hop around like that. I mean, but he's not the only one that does that. I mean, you got plenty of people that's transferred two, three, four times. Who are you going to bet tomorrow in a Florida-Colorado game? I don't bet games until the day they're played in basketball. So I have no idea. I don't even know if I'll bet it or not. We shit all over Bama in 2014 with Urban. Yeah, that was 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago with a different coach. Your current coach is what, 0-3 against the SEC? Ohio State is 2-13 all-time against the SEC in the postseason? I mean, over 
a hundred year period, you've somehow managed to beat the SEC in the postseason twice. You're two and thirteen. I mean, for the SEC is just Ohio State kryptonite for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out. Nobody at Ohio State's been able to figure it out for the last hundred years, but maybe you can. If Arizona loses to a 15 seed for the second year in a row, this one coached by a coach who's been fired, they should shut down the program, says William Nix. That would be a bad loss for Arizona, no question about it. I'll tell you this, though. Pac-12 ain't very good. (coughs) There's no way I would pick Arizona to make the Final Four or win a natty, and I've seen a lot of people doing that. I wouldn't pick anybody from the Pac-12 to to, to make the Final Four or win a natty. The Pac-12 was terrible this year. Uh, Arizona was just, you know, the turd that floated to the top, really. We need Urban's toughness back at OSU, says Hunter Cohen. Tough? Urban tough? (laughs) Urban Meyer was tough? Okay. (laughs) Every time the guy had a hangnail, he had to medically retire. Under a minute to go, Michigan stayed up 15, so that one's over. Creighton now down three with two minutes to go in the first half. Akron 34, Creighton 31. Not looking good for Creighton. <clears throat> Creighton misses a layup. Creighton or Akron misses a layup. Creighton with the rebound. They need to score here. For three, wide open. Drains it. Tied game. 34 apiece. Big shot there by Creighton. A minute 55 to go in the first half. Let's see if Creighton can go on some kind of a run here to close out the first half. Got to play defense here against Akron, though. Come on, Creighton. Come on. Defense, let's go. Get in his face. Ah, why? They let him wide open for a three, but he, oh, he bricked it. Rebound, Creighton. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Let's go. Another three for Creighton. Bang! Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Creighton. 37-34, Thirty-seven to thirty-four, Creighton up three. A minute and a half to go in the first half. Now, come on, play some damn defense. Play some damn defense. Let's go. Don't let him. Don't let him back you down like that. They turned it over again. Come on, score again. Let's go. Come on, Creighton. Yeah, that's a foul. Akron, big mad. Akron, big mad. Now that was a frustration foul. Let's go. Come on, Creighton. Come on, Creighton. How about a run to close out the first half? Pay Lou, dumb fuck. Ten seconds to go. About to pay Lou in the first bet of the day. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Michigan State wins by 18. I had Michigan State minus one. Pay Lou. Hashtag pay Lou in the chat. I'm 1-0 today. I'm 1-0 today. I'm a basketball guru. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Slash basketball savant. Uh, mainly an idiot savant, partly a basketball savant. But let's get a hashtag Paylou in the chat. I'm 1 0 for the day. 1 0. I had Michigan State minus one, a no sweat win there. They win by 18. Now, unfortunately, I've also got Creighton minus 12. They are up five, though. They are up five. 37 seconds to go in the first half. They're up five. So we're okay. We're not dead. We're not dead in the Creighton game, but they're going to have to play a lot better in the second half than they played in the first half, that's for sure. But pay Lou on this first game, go. Let's go. Got to make money. That's how we got, we got your fucking kids to feed. Got a friggin' uh, concert I got to go to this weekend in Birmingham. Oh, and I just moved. It, co- it costs a lot of money to move. It costs a lot of money to move. It costs a lot of money to move. Fuck the bookie. Pay Lou. Let me win some more of these bets. I got to recoup some of this money. I got to recoup some of this damn money. Down goes the first SEC team, says Billy Cole. Yep. Yep. Mac Brown also won a natty. That's not saying much, says Trevin. What? I can't make the rest of that out. Trev something or another. Pay Lou that and then some. Yeah, also in two in addition to that as well, and two and also. Pay Lou. One and today. I'll take it. I'll take it. Shit. I'd rather be 1-0 than 0-1. Shit. Of course I'll take it. Yep. Let's go. Pay him. 
Pay that man his, pay that man his money. Pay him. Pay him, pay him, pay him. Pay that man his money. What else we got? Here's what else we got. Creighton minus 12, you already know. It's 39 to 34. They're up five. 37 seconds to go in the first half. So we still have a chance here. Creighton's got to pull away in the second half, but we still got a chance to go 2-0. Uh, I've got NC State plus five. I like that against Texas Tech. I think NC State might actually win that game. NC State might win that game outright, but I've got NC State plus five. I've got Texas on the money line. Iowa State, South Dakota State under 135 and a half. Uh, Gonzaga on the money line and Sam Ford. Samford plus seven and a half. That's what we got for the day. And I'm going to add some bets uh, as the day goes along too, but that's what I have so far. Uh, this stream right here is going to stay uh, on and active and live through the end of the Akron Creighton game. Then we're going to shut it down. I'm going to come back on at four o'clock over on the Patreon page for South Carolina and Oregon. Uh, which I think is going to be a great game. I'm afraid to bet that game because I honestly don't know who's going to win that thing. South Carolina could win that, though. Uh, Oregon is way, way, way better at home this season than they are on the road or neutral site games. And I think, I don't know, I have a feeling, but I don't know if I'm going to bet it. But should I bet it? Should I bet South Carolina? Uh, I think South Carolina is going to beat Oregon. The SEC is way better than the Pac-12. South Carolina has played way better competition over the course of this season than Oregon has. I think I, I think I should take South Carolina. I'm going to stream that one at 4 o'clock on the Patreon page. If you want to hang out and watch the uh, 4 o'clock game, the uh, South Carolina and Oregon game, that'll be over on the Patreon page. There's a link in the description of the video that'll take you to the Patreon page. I think I can post it in a chat. Let me see if it's still there. Nope, not that. That says be back in five minutes. I ain't got no interest in being back in five minutes. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There you go. Yeah, click that link. That's a link to the Patreon page. So uh, so at about 345, I'll post a link over there on the Patreon page. Just click that link, and it'll take you to the uh, 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 stream for the afternoon games, starting with South Carolina and Oregon at 4. I, I, should I? Let me see. God damn it. You see what y'all talk? Y'all talk me into this shit. All right, basketball, NCAA, Tennessee's a 22-point favorite. Yeah, I'm I'm taking St. Peter's plus 22. Always bet against Tennessee in March. Write that down. Uh, let's see. South Carolina's a two-point underdog. You know what? Give me those two points. Give me those two points. I'll take it. Give me those two points. Give me those two points. All right, I just bet the South Carolina plus two. I just bet South Carolina plus two. God damn it. You see what y'all talked me into? Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. Hey, lady. They got me betting on South Carolina now. They talked me into it. I wasn't going to do it. They got me betting on South Carolina plus two. Basically, yes. They basically did put a gun to my head. Yes, I wasn't gonna bet that game. They, the, the you know how they get. Shame, shame, shame on you guys. It is a shame. Shame. Is it halftime of the Creighton game yet? Did I miss what happened? How did it? How did it end? Thirty-nine to th Creighton up six. Hey, six is halfway to twelve. <laughs> Look, I've got Creighton minus twelve. They're up six at halftime. What's so if the if they do the same thing in the second half, what's that? Twelve. Twelve. Let's go. You want to talk to them for a minute? Sure. I, I'm gonna take like a two minute break, uh, but instead of putting in, instead of just leaving you hanging, the lady's gonna sit in here and show you her feet. I'll be right <laughs> back in a minute. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm not gonna show you my feet. Sorry, <laughs> but I will answer questions. <laughs> But not about basketball, because I don't know anything about basketball. Hello, Celine Driver. Uh, Lou's favorite food? 
Um, I mean, probably steak and mashed potatoes and some sort of greens. Busy. My day's been busy. Eat, chew, review. No, I have no interest in taking over the Uncle Lou channel. <laughs> Saragua! Hey, P Digits. Hey, Vic2 Productions. If you want to see my feet, you got to go to my feet finder. That's all there is to it. Oh, not today, some guy. I haven't been cutting hair today. You keep saying that, Celine Driver, but I know plenty of other patient women who have significant others that do you too. That are pretty patient as well. Jared Howard, have you not been a part of this community or channel for a while? We've told this story numerous times. We met at the... Uh, Bowling alley in front of the bus station right next to the church. <laughs> Got the link to your feet finder. <laughs> oh, thanks, Austin. I appreciate that. Yeah, I still owe you guys a 12-hour stream. I just got to find time to, uh, to, to to figure it out. Oh, well, of course I look at my feet. I'm going to look at them as long as I'm able to look at them. Did Uncle Lou look at your feet and was hooked? I mean, I've got some pretty amazing feet if I do say so myself. <laughs> did you move the TV in the backyard, BA? Um, there's no TV in the backyard. However, there is a shed back there, so. Uncle Lou doesn't need help. If anybody needs help, it's me. I need help. <laughs> she shed version two. No, I got a little setup uh, in the dining room. It's um, my studio slash office. Oh, did he now? Green Street Ute says, Lou told us that you didn't help us with the moo process at all. Called you a moo princess. Can you confirm? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I hear you. I hear you, Lou. <laughs> I hear you, Lou. Yeah, that's true, Celine. That is true. Each of you ask favorite part about Lou's personality. Um, I mean, he he just he makes me laugh all the time. He he makes me laugh all the time. There's no hashtag help Lou. There's no hashtag help Lou. I mean, he may need help after that comment, but yes. <laughs> I mean, why would he say anything bad about me? I'm amazing and fantastic, as Pete would say. He, he should be so blessed as to have me in his life. Or he is so blessed to have me in his life. <laughs> Tell Lou to get off your feet finder and get back on Lou 2 BA. I know, I know. 
And it, you know, I don't understand why he gets on there. He 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 gets to see it for free. <laughs> Yes, Big Mike, my car is out of the yard. Unfortunately, there's not enough room in the garage for me to park my car, so I have to I have to park in the driveway, but that's fine with me. I leave the house more often than he does anyway, so uh, I can in fact confirm that uh, that uh, Celine driver is Jewish. Yes. <laughs> All right, keep it up, Lou. <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Glad I could help you out, Clint. Helmet wall's looking good, isn't it? He's doing such a great job. Uh, that's something you would have to ask Ballard, Clint. <laughs> um, you want me to be honest, Celine? Yes, you do look like a typical Jewish gentleman. <laughs> Oh, thanks, John Foster. Yeah, uh, only a couple more months till the season starts. That's right, Big Tube. He says, Celine, you do look Jew. <laughs> No, look, that's one thing that I don't, I don't do. Like, I don't, I don't touch anything in his studio. Uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Cause he always complains that I'm always pressing buttons. So I don't do anything in here. Hey, Colby. Um... I do not see a Gator's helmet yet. I think he was saying he's taking super chats. So if you super chat him what helmet you want him to hang up, he'll dig it out of the box and hang it up. <laughs> you got all the questions, don't you, Clint? <laughs> Uh, he says Michigan helmet on deck. If you guys can see that. I hear you, Celine. Okay, well, I hear you, Celine. No, those words did not come out of my mouth, Austin. What is it about guys and putting words into women's mouth? Lou does that all the time. <laughs> Y'all just be creating drama where there's no drama that needs to be created. Uh, no, not yet, Clint. No. <laughs> Colby, if I didn't like you so much, I'd time you out for that. <laughs> but it's not my channel. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, no, he likes his steaks cooked medium, as do I. <laughs> yeah, did you tell that story, Lou? Y'all gotta hear this story. <laughs> he got mad at me because his printer wouldn't work. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, but yet he still got mad at me. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really, I don't, no, not, I don't, I like Tom Brady, but I, and he's a good looking guy, but. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think I would. He's got he's got issues. Babes, Mike's are you uh, are you married or do you have a significant other? You must be saying that while she's not in the room or she's gone. <laughs> Oh, Celine Driver with the compliments. I'm sure he probably could do better than me. <laughs> he has done better than me. <laughs> no, I did not touch or look at the printer in any form or fashion before he tried to get it to work. All he did was bring it from his apartment to his car and then from the car to his studio and try to try to hook it up yesterday and he couldn't get to working. So it was my fault. It still isn't fixed. <laughs> Tucci. <laughs> I offered to try and fix it for him, but no, it's, it's still, <laughs> no, and I didn't even get an apology for him being getting mad at me for no reason either, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm a, I'm a, um, I've got broad shoulders. Uh, sure. Score updates. Let's see. Akron 33, Creighton 39. Is that the one you wanted? I don't know how to change it, so. Yeah, that's right. Hashtag pay VA. I know. I need him to apologize to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you will, Big Smikes. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I will make it a point to bring it up, too, and ask your wife about it. <laughs> no, in all serious no, seriousness, though, you should come. You and your wife should come. It's a good time. <laughs> well, he's not, he's not actually pooping. He's just, he's just taking a break. <laughs> No, he does not take his own bags to the grocery store, but neither do I, so. Some guy says, if a man is all by himself alone in the woods, he's still wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is still wrong. Right. You're never wrong, Celine. But that's your that's that's your own opinion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, you've never been dishonest to me, so if that's saying anything. Help! Good morning, Pastor Dave. Do you guys do you guys want him to publicly apologize for getting mad at me yesterday? What? 
<laughs> no. There are no public apologies. All right, man. All right, I gotta head on out. Oh yeah. Bye, guy. I gotta go pick up Collins. Bye. Oh. <laughs> yeah. See how she tells you bye there. All right, thirty-nine to thirty-three. Creighton up six. I've got Creighton minus twelve. I need him to keep it up in the second half. Pour it on. Give me another easy win here. I'm one and zero on the day. We hit the Michigan State game. So pay Lou off to a good start today. I'm trying to go two and zero with this Creighton game. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm back. Still halftime uh, on the Creighton game. Let's see. Two and two, and also in two. Is Arizona still losing? Arizona is losing to Long Beach State. Wow. Glad I didn't bet that one. Zona Man, what are you doing? Zona Man was in the chat earlier. Zona Man. Come on, buddy. Long Beach. I told you the Pac-12 is hot garbage. I'm definitely taking South Carolina now. What? What? Come here. You know what you're trying, you're saying hi to it? You see what? You see how it tells you there? Look. What? What? You need to get a job or a hobby. Duquesne up by two on BYU, 445 to go in that one. Uh, Duquesne 56, BYU 54. Pay BA's travel agent. Who's BA's travel agent? <clears throat> All right, I hadn't been watching this Arizona game, so I don't really know what's going on. I got it on now. They just tied it up 33 apiece. I don't know what they're doing screwing around with Long Beach. <clears throat> Always counting Arizona to choke in March, says Oregon Man. Yeah, it's nothing personal, Oregon Man, but I did bet on South Carolina today, too, against your Oregon Ducks. I didn't want to bet on it. The degenerates in the comment section talked me into it. I'm going to be mad if I lose that. Uh, Lou is BA's travel agent because he takes her to Pound Town. Well, you got to do what you got to do, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know, it's a rough job, but somebody's got to do it. <sighs> Might as well be me. Which watch is on today, sir? This is a Boulevard. Duquesne is killing BYU on the board, says P. Digits. Yeah, I haven't watched any of that game either. Uh, I was dialed in on that Michigan State game until it got out of hand, and now I'm on the Creighton game since those are the ones I've been betting money on. Uh, speaking of Creighton, they are back on. They are now up five, 39 to 34. Second half just underway, 1945 to go. I've got Creighton minus 12, so I need Creighton to uh, keep their uh, foot on the gas here in the second half and pull away and win this one like they're supposed to. Zona, uh, Arizona's been fraud since Luke Olson retired, says Wet Blanket. Creighton with a jumper, no good, but they get the rebound. Now for three. Bang! Let's go! Let's go! 42 to 34. Creighton up eight. Come on, Creighton. Pour it on. Let's go. Pay Lou! Come on. Come on, Creighton. Turnover. Creighton. Back with the ball. Dribbles. Bad pass that time. Now they turn it right back over to Akron. And it looks like Creighton's going to get called with a foul here. Got his feet tangled up with an Akron player. Foul on Creighton. 
It'll be Akron's ball. They're up eight, though. They are up eight. The championship is in Phoenix, and Arizona is going out in the first round, says Captain Trips. That would be absolutely humiliating if Arizona were to lose this game to Long Beach, for sure. So are you, Jay says, fuck the bicycle college. I couldn't agree more. Fuck them. Fuck BYU. UNC game is on, says Jarrett Howard. Yeah, that's going to be a blowout. No, they're going to beat the absolute soul and will to live out of Wagner. I didn't bet on that one. The championship is in Phoenix. Oh, I think I just read that, too. Uh, ho- oh, wait a minute. We got to hang up the Michigan helmet, too. Uh, VicTube says UTEP. Uh, all right, so we got to hang up the UTEP helmet and the Michigan helmet. Uh, we don't have either one of those, do we? No. All right, let me go get the Michigan helmet and the UTEP helmet. Thank you, VicTube, and thank you, Bigs Mikes, for the Super Chats. Big Mike wants Michigan. VicTube wants UTEP. Let me go grab those two helmets. I'll be right back. All right, Michigan and Utah. Creighton up seven, 45 to 38. 18 minutes to go in the second half. Come on, Creighton. Creighton with the ball. I did bet this game. I got Creighton minus 12. Michigan. You tell. Michigan and Utah. Emma. FIU. Uh, let's see, what are they? I'm not about to take these down to. Got to take a bunch down to put a bunch up. That's just how it goes. Trust me. I know, believe me, I know what I'm doing. It might, I know it doesn't look like it. I know it doesn't look like it. Um, but I do know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. Nine and nine. Where's my pen? What'd y'all do with my pen? Here it is. Nine and nine. Ninety-nine. Six. Oh, got to take another one down. Seven point lead still by Creighton, 49 to 42. Come on, Creighton. Come on, Creighton. Is he going to sing 99 Luff Balloons? 99 Sesh Luff Balloons. You want me to? You want me to sing it in English or German? English or German? Let me know. Let me know.
German. 99 Seschloft Beloins. That's all I know. That's going to have to be good enough. 99 Seschloft Beloins. <laughs> Where's Sven Kruisberg at? Is Sven, if Sven Kruisberg is in here, he can probably sing the whole damn thing in German. Because he lives there? Michigan. Uh, we'll even put it right here so you can see it. We'll even put it right here so you can see it. And you tap. You tap. What are you barking about? I told you to go find something to do. You won't listen. That's a big part of your problem. Big part of your problem. You don't listen. Look here, look, listen. All right, there you go, dummies. Looks good. Looks good. It looks good. Lou watches Wings of Redemption. Wing Ting? Wing Ting? Where's my Pepsi? No, I'm not selling my Mustang. Stop asking. Akron coming back, Lou? Don't tell me that. North Carolina up to an early lead, four to nothing over Wagner. Arizona taking the lead over Long Beach, now up 41 to 35. Duquesne up 63 to 60 over to Bicycle College. And Akron down eight, 50 to 42. Akron with the ball. And they're gonna get Creighton, it looks like, for a reach in foul. Akron will keep the ball. Clemson beating UJ week one. Yeah, you won't bet one dollar on that. <laughs> you won't bet one dollar on that, dummy. It's easy to type that. It's easy to type that. You won't bet one dollar on that. Seven seconds on the shot clock for Akron. On the baseline, pass, shot, no good. Creighton, rebound. They're running. From the free throw line, buries it. Back to a 10-point lead, 52-42, to 42. Creighton up. Come on, Creighton. Hey, Lou. I've got Creighton minus 12. I'm 1-0. and oh. Hey, we're off to a good start. I'm 1-0 and oh today. Michigan State covered. I won that one. And I've got Creighton minus 12 as my second bet of the day. And Akron turns it over again. Come on, Creighton. Creighton, coast to coast, puts up a shot, fouled. Creighton will be shooting two. Tennessee has a better chance of making the playoffs than Clemson of beating UGA week one. 
Uh, that's probably an accurate statement, actually. That's probably accurate. Hey, what's up, Chief? Good to see you in here, buddy. Goat Club. Yeah, Wings of Redemption. Look here, look, listen. Look, look. Look here, look, listen. <laughs> Wing thing. <laughs> Creighton buries the first free throw, an 11 point lead. 53 to 42 with 14.54 to go in the second. I need Creighton to win by more than 12. The SEC teams are about to get spanked, says Donovan. Uh, Donovan, you're one of the dumbest people in the history of my comment section. You, let's see, who are some of the dumbest people ever? G. White. Y'all know G. White? He's a Tennessee man. I, Donovan, I don't know, I don't even, I don't know who you're a fan of. Uh, G. White's a Tennessee fan. He's probably the dumbest person ever in the history of my comment section. Um, Donovan, you're top five, top ten. You're, you're pretty fucking dumb. Uh, who else are some of the dumbest commenters? Octavian? Yep. Now, look, I love Octavian. So just because you're dumb as fuck doesn't mean I don't like you. Um, you know, I, I really like Octavian a lot. But, yeah, he's dumb as shit when it comes to what he thinks about Florida. Uh, let's see. Who are some of the other really, really dumb ones over the years? You're up there, Donovan. You want me to guess your team? I don't care enough to guess your team. Anybody that anybody that's ashamed or embarrassed to just tell people who their team is is uh, it, that that's pretty sad, honestly. <clears throat> John Foster says, "What about me? I wouldn't put you in the top five or ten because it, you you don't stand out to me as being particularly dumb." What should Carson Beck's overall be in the new NCAA game? I don't really know how they do video game ratings, but, I mean, he'll be one of the highest-rated quarterbacks, if not the highest. What happened to Mississippi Thate? I have no clue. Uh, the Ultimate Troll, yeah, he was pretty dumb. He was pretty dumb. Gamecock Steve, yeah, Gamecock Steve was another one. He was pretty dumb. Yeah, G. White's the all-time dumbest, for sure. Like, I don't even have to think about it. No matter who, there's not a name anybody could type that would make me change my mind. G. White is by far the dumbest commenter in the history of this uh, comment section. I go to Yale, woo. I don't give a shit where you go to school, buddy. I, I couldn't care less. Colleges are full of dumbasses, though, that I can tell you. I don't know if you're saying you, I don't know if you're lying about going to Yale in an attempt to try to prove to people that you're not stupid, uh, but going to Yale wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Going to Yale would not prove that you're the dumbest commenter in the history of this channel at all. Um, the fact that you feel the need to lie about it probably lends even more credence to my point uh, than the one you're trying to make. Ballard is definitely top three. I don't. Uh, Ballard's not a dumb commenter. Ballard has 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 called into the call in show and asked some dumb questions over the years. But he's not even he's not the dumbest caller. But he has asked some dumb questions over the years. If you pay enough, you can go to any school. Just ask uh, USC. Yeah, that's right. They were taking bribes from rich people to get their kids into school at Southern Cal. That's, I remember that. That was a few years back. North Carolina up by two, eight to six over Wagner. Early on in that one, 15-45 to go in the first half. North Carolina just scored again, now 10 to six. Commercial break in the, in the uh, Creighton-Akron game, which is really the one I care about. Uh, cause I, uh, I, 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 I bet on that one. I've got Creighton minus 12, uh, Duquesne still up on three over to bicycle college with 10 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go. Duquesne up three and Duquesne is at the free throw line and they buried a free throw. It's now a four point game, which makes it most likely a two possession game, barring a foul on a three point attempt, 68 to 64 with 10 seconds to go. Duquesne up over to bicycle college. Hey, what's up, Cody? Appreciate you hitting the thumbs up, buddy. Good to see you in here. <clears throat> I picked Duquesne in my bracket, no joke. To beat BYU, you mean? That was a good pick. They made the second free throw, so they're now up five, ten seconds to go. BYU with the ball. They put up a desperation three, 
and they made it. Wow. They made it. Two-point game with 5.7 seconds to go. BYU buried a long miracle three there to make it a two-point game with 5.0 seconds to go in an immediate timeout called. You looking at any bets for tomorrow's games? I don't bet college basketball games early. I I, I don't bet them until the day of the game. So I, I don't I couldn't tell you what games I might or might not be betting for tomorrow. Because I, I I honestly won't know until tomorrow morning. Uh, with football, I like to bet the games early, but with basketball, I like to wait uh, wait until the morning of the game. Clint Eastwood moans when his boyfriend hits the wrong hole, says Donovan. <clears throat> Yale education coming through there. Turn it to the real March Madness NCAA D1 Wrestling Championships? Yeah, no. 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 Uh, no. Creighton up 14 with the ball for three. Ah. Missed it. 14 point lead for Creighton, though, with 13 minutes to go. Ball knocked out by Creighton. It'll be Akron's ball on their end of the floor. 56 to 42. Creighton is winning. 14 point lead. Let's go. I've got Creighton minus 12. I'm trying to go 2 0 today. I'm 1 0 right now. I hit the Michigan State game at minus 1. I need Creighton. To, uh, I've got Creighton minus twelve, so I need Creighton to win by more than twelve. That'll make me two and zero today. Come on, defense, defense, defense! Don't let him back you down like that, man. Bow up on that man. What are you doing, letting him back you down? Get in the weight room, son. Akron for three, no good. Creighton with the rebound. Still a fourteen point lead for Creighton. Creighton just got hit in the face, and a foul is called on Akron. Lou, Donovan's mad at you because his letter got lost. Hashtag Stan. Yeah. You know, I love the trolls. I love the trolls, no matter how elementary they are. NCAA football game got pushed back to a later date. I didn't know there was a release date. Um, in fact, there wasn't a release date. BYU must have been fasting because good Lord, says Donovan. BYU down three, 70 to 67 with 4.3 seconds to go. Duquesne just made another free throw. Four point game, 71 to 67 with 4.3 seconds. BYU out of bounds, game over. Duquesne knocks off BYU, 71 to 67. Duquesne advances to the next round. BYU hops on their bicycles and pedals back to Provo or wherever the fuck it is they're from out there. Just fucking salt dunes and all that the rest of the dumb shit. College football game has been pushed back to a later date. There was never... A, there's been no release date released, so... Uh, yeah, so, yeah. There was no release date for the game, so you can't... You can't really push back a release date when there's not a release date. Uh, good look, uh, good luck, Uncle Lou. Hope you have a good day. Hey, thanks, Donnie. Good to see you in here, buddy. Sport Mark says poverty BYU. Yep. Uh, Lou, I wouldn't last 15 seconds as a wrestler, but I bet he at least admits it. Uh, I called GameStop. They said that there was an announcement early May, but then it got pushed back to a later date, like December. That's the temporary date. The game was never coming out in May. The release date was going to uh, potentially be announced in May, but the game was never coming out in May. So I don't know. <laughs> Called GameStop. There is no release date. for the, the, They've never released. They've never stated a release date for the college football game. My guess is that it's coming out in July because that's when it's always came out before. But calling GameStop and then getting confused by what they tell you uh, doesn't mean the release date has been pushed back. There is no release date. There's never been a release date. The only thing EA has ever said is that it's going to be released sometime in the summer of 2024. That's all they've ever said. 
How will GameStop know the release date of the game? This guy is either dumb or trolling, says Sportsmark. What I'm saying is they give a release date on when it's coming out by May. It's not released on May. That's when the release day is announced, but now it's getting pushed back to a later date. What's getting pushed back to a later date? Jarrett, just stop. There is no release date for the college football game, so the release date has not been pushed back. So I, I, whatever it is, you, GameStop's done got you so confused with whatever it is they told you, I don't know. First of all, why would you call GameStop and ask them for a release date when you have access to the internet? You just go to the internet and type in release date college football, and it, it'll tell you that there's not one. You don't need to call GameStop so that they can confuse you, so you then can run to my comment section and try to confuse everybody else. There is no release date for college football. Lou, I just recorded the rough draft of the video. We'll edit it later. Edit? What do you mean edit? It's a two minute video. You, you hit record, you talk for two minutes, you hit end and you upload it. What are you talking about editing? You're even dumber than I thought you were, Donovan. Dude used a payphone to call GameStop. <laughs> uh, I like you, Jared, but uh, there is no release date for the college football game. There's never been a release date, so the release date cannot have been pushed back. It's definitely not pushed back just because somebody that answered the phone at GameStop told you that. There is no release date for the game. The only thing EA Sports has said about any type of time frame is that it would be released sometime this summer. When the game when the game used to come out before it would come out towards the end of July. So that's always been my guess on when it'll come out this time, end of July. But I don't know that. I'm just guessing. Um, GameStop didn't tell me that. I'm just guessing. Give us a Coach Prime rant. Coach Prime doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's not even a coach. He's a fucking team mom with a gold whistle. Highest paid team mom in history. Team moms are usually a volunteer position, not Coach Prime. This motherfucker gets paid millions of dollars to do what? I honestly don't know. He's not a football coach. He's not. He's not out there. He's not out there developing players. He's not out there recruiting. I don't really know what the fuck he's doing at Colorado, but he's not coaching and he's not recruiting. Um, and now he's got this whole thing where he doesn't believe in recruiting. I, I, I'm i not going to visit any recruits. I can't just show up at a recruits high school. I'm not just some regular coach. I'm Coach Prime. I'm, if I show up somewhere, it causes a big scene. Therefore, I can't do recruiting. I can't do in-home visits. Besides, these recruits and these recruits' parents would rather come to my mansion and hang out with me than me go sit on their uh, raggedy couch or whatever he said. Coach Prime is so fucking clueless about the world of college football, it boggles the fucking mind. I wouldn't be shocked if Donovan is Coach Prime. That's how that's how disconnected from reality Coach Prime actually is when it comes to being a high-level college football coach. The guy's got absolutely no clue what he's doing. He's a team mom pushing his sons to uh, accumulate as many stats as possible. That's it. The guy's got no interest in winning games. He's got no interest in recruiting. Um... He goes on this six-minute tirade about how I'm not doing in-home visits. I'm not doing this. I'm, do I'm not doing that. And the whole time he's sitting there, I'm going, does this guy know he finished like a hundredth in recruiting? Uh, like a hundredth. I don't understand. Thinks he can build a team from the portal. It's never going to happen. Sorry, it's not. Uh, you, you're never getting where you want to go signing five or six high school players a year. It's never going to happen. Uh, we can play college football from now till Jesus comes back, which is tomorrow, according to the Looney Tunes. Um, you're never going to have success, long-term, sustained success as a college football program, signing five high school players a year. It's never going to happen. I don't care if you sign five five-stars a year, and that's all you sign. You just sign five five-stars, you don't sign anybody else. You're never, you're never winning shit. You're not winning a goddamn thing. Deion Sanders doesn't know what the fuck he's doing at all, period. He's one of the greatest athletes of all time. He's one of the best defensive backs of all time. Watching him fly a helicopter from a Falcons game to a Braves game when I was a kid is one of the coolest things I've ever fucking seen. And I loved watching Deion Sanders play football and baseball. But when it comes to being a college coach, the guy doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. He's fucking clueless. He's got no idea what he's doing. Zero. None. None. He's not a coach. He's not a coach. I don't know what he is, but he's not a coach. He's not a coach. 
Uh, Creighton up. Yo, Jones! Creighton's up like 7 or 18! Holy shit! Pay Lou again! Let's go. We're going to get Lou paid today. Duquesne wins. They beat the Bicycle College. Whoopity whoop on that. What about Arizona? Did they ever did shit or get off the pot? Uh, they're up by Long Beach State. Or they're up on Long Beach State, 39 to 35. Long Beach State hanging in there with Arizona, though. Arizona was a huge favorite there. Uh, Wagner in North Carolina. Isn't that game on, too? And also, um, in addition to that as well, North Carolina's up 20 to 15 in that shit show. And uh, look at Creighton up 18. Let's go. Let's get Lou paid. Let's get Lou paid. Let's go. Hogman, did you get my email? Uh, Hoghead, thank you for the super chat, buddy. I'll go get the Tennessee helmet. Uh, I'll go get the Tennessee helmet right now. But did you get my, uh, you emailed me uh, yesterday, the day before. I, I emailed you back. Did you get it? Um, if you're only going to come up to Cherokee either on Monday or on Wednesday, I would come Wednesday because I don't know what time we're getting there on Monday. We're not getting there till Monday. I mean, I might not leave Augusta till lunchtime, and then, you know, that means it'll be 4 or 5 o'clock before I get to uh, the casino. Uh, but I'll be there all day Wednesday because I'm there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, leaving Thursday. So let me go get that Tennessee helmet, though. Sorry, it's like a hundred damn helmets in there. And, and of course, this one was on the very bottom. So it took me a minute. I apologize, hog man. Uh, but I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Bro, bro, bro. The Tards, the Voltards. Got to start a new row. Can y'all do me? See how y'all do me. I start a new row now. Uh, let's do it this way. Here's what we're going to do. This will make it easy. Well, nothing's easy, but this will make it kind of easier. Maybe. So if we go top to top. Ten and a quarter inches. Ten and a quarter inches. Ten and a quarter. Ten and a quarter, top to top. Ten and a quarter, top to top. How'd that be? I think that'd be just fine. Good. Great. Glad to hear it. Like to hear it. Here it go. Like to hear it. Here it go. All right, putting up the Tennessee helmet because Hogman said so. Webb Benyama, the, the new kid that's in the league, started at 16 playing with grown out. Well, Webb Benyama's no joke. Now, he plays on a terrible fucking team, but he's really good. 
They ought to trade him. It's probably what they'll do. That's what I ought to do. They ought to let him play for a good team because he's he ain't gonna win shit. Where's he at? San Antonio or he, he's on some shitty fucking team. But yeah, he's really good though. Luke, can you say nineteen ninety? Yeah, hashtag nineteen ninety eight. We're putting up the Tennessee helmet because Hoghead said so on the super chat. Uh, if you want me to put a helmet up, uh, let me know in the super chat. We'll put the helmet up. But Hogman wants to see Tennessee. Hashtag 1998. Also, hashtag zero final fours for Tennessee. Tennessee's never made a final four. What kind of poverty is that? Ah, right, damn. That's sad, man. That's really sad. I mean, come on. That is, you know that's sad. You know that's sad. Never made a single final four. That is poverty. Poverty, buddy. Hold on, that don't seem right, do it? Is that right? Let's make sure we're doing this right. Three to thirteen is ten. I guess I, I guess we did that right. And no oh, six. Yeah, I guess I guess we did it right. Hell, I don't know. I guess we did it right. I don't know. We're gonna, well, we'll find out in a minute. If we measured right. We'll find out in a minute. All right. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't fucking know. We'll find out in a minute. We'll find out in a minute if I did it right or not. I don't. I, I may have messed it up. I don't. It's possible I messed it up. It is possible I screwed it up. I'll admit. I'll admit that. What is this? There we go. Go like that again. Why can't I put it the other way? What are we doing? Oh, I see. Hold on. Be quiet. There we go. I got it. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Who am I talking to? I don't know. The dog is wondering the same thing. The dog thinks I'm out of my mind. And you know what? He might be right. He might be right. Yeah, this ain't low enough. We're going to have to put this a little lower. We're going to have to put it a little lower. Y'all distracted me and I fucked it up. Y'all distracted me and I fucked it up. That's on y'all. That's on y'all. Not me. That's not on me. That's on y'all. You distract. Y'all distracted me and you fucked it up. Now I got to redo it. Uh, no. Trips, no. No. It's too much work to put these things up for me to be taking them down. <laughs> give me a give me a team that you want me to put up though since you sent a super chat. Just put it in the regular chat. Don't super chat again, but no, I'm not taking it down. I'm not taking it down. Man, what are you doing to me, man? Stop it. You know how I, you know how frustrated I get already. Now you're just messing with me. Let's try this. Let's try this instead. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> he said, take the Tennessee helmet back now. All right, y'all. Y'all with the trolly, trolly, troll. Give me one to put up, Trips, and I'll put one up, but I'm not doing the taking it down. It's too much work to put them up to be taking them down. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> A blind, random pick. All right, I'm literally going to go in there and just reach into the box and grab one. I'll be right back.
All right, I still don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. Is it a good one or a bad one? Is it a good one or a bad one? Houston. Mediocre. Creighton now up by 15 with the ball. Kicks it out to three-point land. Looks like he wants to shoot it. Now dribbles into the lane, off the glass, no good, too strong. Rebounded by Akron. Still a 15-point game. Six minutes to go. I need Creighton to win by more than 12. I've got Creighton minus 12. We got Houston. We're gonna put Houston up. I'm going to put Houston up. Uh, Akron misses. Rebounded by Creighton. All right. Here we go. What y'all do with my pen now? Nine. Come on, dummy. Team I picked to win the tournament, Baylor. You picked Houston to win the tournament? No off, not enough offense, I don't think. Not enough offense uh, for Houston to win it all, I don't think. They're good. They're good, though. I can't pick a team to win it all that I just watched score 14 points in the first half against Iowa State either. I, I'm sorry. They scored 14 points in an entire half of basketball against Iowa State. I can't pick them. Luke, can we time the retarded need kid? What? Which one? Donovan? No, Donovan is the most entertaining thing in the whole entire comment section. I mean, you got to have something to point and laugh at. Donovan's perfect for that. Donovan's a point and laugh, just a gold mine of point and laugh. <clears throat> Absolute gold mine. North Carolina's now up by 10 with 5.45 to go in the first half. 33-23, to 23, the Tar Heels up over Wagner. Creighton's up 15. Uh, now up 12. Akron just drained a three-pointer. 12-point game, under four minutes to go. I've got Creighton minus 12, so Creighton's going to win the game for sure. But my minus 12 on Creighton is still dangling in the wind. I, I need Creighton to win by more than 12. I'm 1-0 today. I hit the Michigan State game. Trying to go 2-0 and with this Creighton game. I've got Creighton minus 12. Who's up on the wall right now? All of those teams. All of those right there. Yeah, all of those. Not in that. Plus Tennessee. 
fixing to put uh, Houston up there. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, yeah, what's the problem? No fucking offense. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem for Houston. No goddamn offense at all. Where's my mark? Where the fuck is the mark? There? I think it's there? I can't see the mark I made on the wall. I think it might, I think that's it. I don't know. Trust me, I trust me when I tell you that uh, I know what I'm doing. Okay? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Contrary to popular belief, I do know what I'm doing. And I do and I do know who I'm messing with. This whole thing where people say, oh, look at Lou don't know who he's messing with. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I, I know exactly who I'm messing with. Believe me. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. I, I know I know exactly who I'm messing with. This guy don't know who he's messing with. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I know exactly who I'm messing with. I know exactly what I'm doing and who I'm messing with. Believe that. I am about to get aggravated, though. If I'm being honest. I am about to get aggravated. If I'm being honest. <clears throat> Hogman said it looks good, Luke. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the super chat, Hogman. And Captain Trips. I appreciate y'all helping to support the show. For real. It's fun to troll and yell and scream and argue with y'all and all that comments and that. But I really do appreciate y'all helping to support the show, man. That does mean a lot. It's hard out here for a college football YouTuber in these YouTube streets in the middle of March. I'll tell you that right now. That's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. I can't see this goddamn line I made. How did I manage to? I somehow managed to fuck it up again. See? Y'all gonna keep watching. Y'all gonna see me get real fucking mad in a minute. They're going to see me get real fucking mad in a minute. No one better not be trolling me in the comments about it taking me six tries to hang up this helmet either. I better not see anybody trolling me in the comments about how it's taken me five or six tries to hang up this Houston helmet or I'm going to be really mad. Don't troll me about that. I'm serious. Don't troll me. Don't troll me. Don't troll me. I'm serious. Don't troll me. I mean it this time. Akron misses a two, but they get the rebound. Now for three. No good. Akron called for an over-the-back foul. 12-point lead. Come on, Creighton. I need Creighton to get up to about a 15 or a 16-point lead here and just coast to an easy cover. I've got Creighton minus 12. They're up by 12. Um, 12 would be a push. I, I wouldn't lose. 
I wouldn't lose at 12. It would be a push. I would get my money back. But I I don't want to push. I want to win. I want to fucking win. I don't want to push. I want to win. So come on, Creighton. Come on, Creighton. Run it up here in these last three minutes. I'm 1-0. I want to be 2-0. I'm 1-0. And and hey, what's up, Noah? Good to see you in here, buddy. The wall needs to stop mistreating basketball skew Houston. I, I couldn't agree more, Baylor, man. I couldn't agree more. If you had to pick, do you think foreign basketball right now is better than American basketball? I think yes, because of how they're training the kids to play with pros at a younger age. I don't know enough about basketball to be able to tell you if international basketball is better than U.S. I don't know. Creighton shooting free throws. Bangs them home. Now a 14-point lead for Creighton. Akron brings the ball down the court. 2.50 to go. Creighton up 14. I've got Creighton minus 12. Don't give up any threes, whatever you do. Don't give up any threes. There you go. God damn it. Oh, block. Let's go. White boy with a block. Runs the length of the court and gets stuffed. White boy with a good block, but then he tried to run the length of the court, and he looked goofy as shit doing it. looked like a, a, a newborn giraffe running down the court. Look at this goofy-ass white boy. Now, that was a good block he had, but watch when he's running down the court. Look, looks like a newborn baby fucking giraffe, and then he gets stuffed there by Akron. <coughs> Foul, though. Now they got the baby giraffe shooting free throws. First one, no good. You fucking dummy. These are big points. Come on, man. These are big points. I've got Creighton minus 12. Come on, man. You got to make the free throws. Here comes the second one. You made that one. All right, 73 to 58. 15 point lead. Play defense again. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. I've got Creighton minus 12. Come on, Creighton. Come on, Creighton. Creighton commits a foul. I think it was the baby giraffe, too. I'm pretty sure it was that baby giraffe again that committed that foul. Arizona shoving their dick down Long Beach's throat. Are they? Uh, because Long Beach was giving them a game a little while ago. Yeah, 59 to 41. 14 and a half minutes to go in the game. 18-point lead for Arizona. North Carolina's up by 11 over Wagner. Creighton, now up 14 over uh, Akron. I've got Creighton minus 12. Come on, pay Lou now. Come on, let's get Lou paid. It's a 13-point game now. Creighton with the ball, 13-point game. Come on, Creighton. We need a bucket here. Come on, Creighton. Put it up off the glass. Let's go. Oh, oh baby giraffe, let's go. Baby giraffe puts in the uh, put back uh, off the rebound. 15-point lead for Creighton. Come on, Creighton. Shut this shit down. A minute 50 to go. Creighton up 15. I've got Creighton minus 12. Oh, no. They let it happen right into the lane. Kicks it out for three. No good. Rebounded by the baby giraffe. Let's go. He passes it off to some other white guy. Look at this white guy. This kid's like five foot two. Look at this guy for Creighton with the ball. This guy's like, who the fuck is that? That guy's like five foot two. It looks like Lab McHonky. Whoa. And he just got ran over. Holy shit. Get this guy out of there. It's like Pee Wee League. That guy's going to get hurt. Holy shit. Creighton's got Lad McHonky playing mop-up duty. Holy shit. Sparty took Mississippi State down. I didn't expect that. I did. <laughs> I did. I bet Michigan State minus one. So uh, I got that. I'm 1-0 gambling on the day. I'm 1-0. Pay Lou. Creighton minus 12 would make me 2-0. So let's pay Lou now. Let's get Lou paid. Come on. Let's get Lou paid. It's the right thing to do. 
It's the right thing to do. Josh Franson says, be nice to Uncle Lou. Josh, thank you very much. Josh, if there's a helmet you want me to put up on the wall, let me know what it is. You don't have to leave another super chat. Put it in the regular comments. Um, and, and if I see it, I'll go grab the helmet and I'll put it up. Um, uh, any super chat, though, I'll, I'll throw you a helmet up on the wall. So is there a particular uh, a school or helmet you want to see up on the wall? Let me know in the chat and we'll put it up. Sorry, I missed that super chat. I don't know how long ago you said it, uh, but thank you. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, I really do. Lad McConkey Jr. is from the Bicycle College. What? Lad McConkey Jr. plays for Creighton. I just synced him. The Tennessee helmet is already up there, so I'm good, says uh, Noah. Yeah, they didn't call a foul. I don't get it. He ran my man over. Almost cut him in half. Look at this guy. The guy's out here weighs 40 pounds. Yeah, that was definitely a foul. I don't know why they didn't call it. Josh Franson says, Washington helmet. Say less, fam. Say less, fam. Uh, shit. All right, let me try to hurry. I found it. All right, a minute 23 to go. Creighton shooting free throws. Lad McHonkey makes the first one. It's now a 16-point lead for Creighton. Paylou. Paylou. Makes the second one. 77 to 60. A 17-point lead for Creighton. And I've got Creighton minus 12. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Josh Franson. Washington Huskies, sir. The Washington Huskies. Are you betting the Tennessee game tonight, Lou? So who do you have your money on? I haven't bet it yet. I probably will bet St. Peter's, though. I'm gonna bet I'm gonna take not to win. I'm gonna take St. Peter's in the points, probably. Um, I'm gonna I'm shutting this stream down when the Creighton game ends. Uh, and then I'll be back on at four. Uh, what time is it? Shit. I'll be back on at 4 for the uh, Oregon-South Carolina game, but that's going to be on Patreon. If y'all want to hang out for the afternoon games, Oregon versus South Carolina at 4 and the rest of the games that, that are coming on at 4, uh, that's going to be on the Patreon page. There's the link to the Patreon page. I'll post the link on that Patreon page around, by, by 4 o'clock. Just go to the Patreon page, click that link, and it'll take you, to the, uh, it'll take you uh, back to the stream. We'll watch the afternoon games. Uh, what am I doing? Washington helmet. Washington helmet. Creighton's still up 17. One minute to go. Akron's got the ball. Their season about to come to an end. North Carolina up big over Wagner, 40 to 28. Arizona all over Long Beach. Moorhead, look at this. Moorhead State. Boy, I can, now that's something I can get behind. That's something I can get behind there, that Moorhead. They're playing Illinois. <clears throat> I like, I, I don't, did I bet it? I like Moorhead and the points, but I don't think I bet it. But I do like Moorhead and the points, but I don't think I bet that game, did I? No, I didn't bet that game, but I do like Moorhead and the points against Illinois. That game just started. Number three, Illinois against number 14, Moorhead State. I like Moorhead State to cover. I don't think they can beat Illinois, but I think they can cover the spread. But I didn't bet the game, so it doesn't fucking matter.
Washington. There you go, Josh. Washington up on the wall for you. There you go. There you go, sir. Thank you for the super chat. And game over. Hashtag Paylou. Let's get it in the chat right now. Hashtag Paylou. I am 2-0 today. I hit the Michigan State game. I hit the Creighton game. Uncle Lewis 2-0. Uh, I'm going to take a 20-minute break, and then I'll be back at 4 o'clock for Oregon and Washington. Uh, remember, that game will be on the Patreon page, not here on YouTube. So I've posted the link uh, several times. The link is also in the description of the video over to the Patreon page. I'll be back at 4 o'clock for Oregon, South Carolina, and the rest of the games that are coming on this afternoon. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me for these early games. I hope y'all win some money, too. Uh, or if you didn't, at least maybe you enjoyed the games or the stream. Um, I'll be back at 4 on the Patreon page, and then I don't know what we're going to do tonight with the stream, so just stay tuned for that. That'll probably be on Patreon, too. I don't know. But uh, anyway, appreciate y'all hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and have a good morning.